Pick up and message other. <laughs> an otome again. Yeah, it is an otome again. Lady, hello. Thank you for the headphones. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, I switched my screen too. How come every time I move the plumbing game, it moves again? Okay, that should be good. I think. Hmm. Okay, so those of you who do not know what Oz Mafia is, yes, it is a dating sim. <laughs> it is a dating simulator. Got home in time from work to watch stream. Yeah. Okay, so those of you who are uh, who are weirded out by this really really early stream because I normally stream at like 11:30 p.m. my time, I will still be streaming later. So <laughs> yes, the regular stream time will still happen. Don't worry. Tatsumi has my just OCD. been waiting to do it. I'm trying to make it look nice on my end. Oh lord. <laughs> You're good. Take your time, take your time. Okay, I think I got it! I just gotta just audio a lot. <laughs> hmm. I can't tell if it's too loud. If anything's too loud, whether it be me, you, or the, or the game <laughs> volume. Can you even hear it? I can hear the game, yeah. Okay, good, good. The music is really nice. It's yes, it is a visual novel. Messages? I totally don't have your stream up. <laughs> <laughs> the like my stream is scuffed as shit. <laughs> <laughs> so ah, I'm so soft. We're we're both scuffed. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how we're gonna decide on who voices which character. I'm gonna, we're just gonna enjoy say, hearing you it. try to make male voices. Bro. <laughs> I can really only do Shona voices. <laughs> I can't even do Shona voices, it's okay. <laughs> this is gonna be great, I'm so excited. Hell yeah. Ah! So, so those of you who don't know who Satsumi Shiro is, they're a ghost VTuber, they're really cute too. Hello. Look, we have matching hair and eyes! Blue. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blue and white. Yeah. They both have like the same color theme going on. Yee. Um. I don't even remember how I met you. I think you messaged me when you were uh, talking about Amnesia. I, I rated you when you were playing Amnesia Memories, and mm, I was like, mm. Oh, I hear you guys voice acting it! I love this! <laughs> um, so then they, uh, Satsumi reached out to me asking if I wanted to like do more Otome games on stream. <laughs> Which, that didn't happen for a long ass time, oh, because yeah. I was really invested in Final Fantasy, and I wasn't really doing collabs. Yeah, and we had to wait until you got partner. <laughs> yeah. I was kind of waiting till I get like my check mark so I can start collabing more. <laughs> Just cause like I felt really scared. I I'm still really nervous about this freaking collab, but you know what? <laughs> fuck. Cause we're scared. Fuck it, we both. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be great. <laughs> we're gonna be so embarrassed with voice acting. <laughs> <laughs> We're VTubers, but embarrassing ourselves on stream is what we do best. Yeah. <laughs> I'm totally watching your stream too at the same time. Dude, I have your stream open in the background right now, just lurking, and I see my my freaking ears pop up, and I'm like, yeah. yes. <laughs> it's great. It's awesome. I love it. So I turned the, the voices in the game off since we will be voice acting them. Hi. And... Hopefully the sound is good on both our ends, and then we can start. Uh, I have no clue if this is good on my end. I think it might be good on my end. I have no idea, actually. Yeah, um, for both our chats, if anything is too loud or anything needs adjusting in the volume, please let us know. Yeah, because like... The game music is loud for me, but yeah, I don't know it started about my so loud. I could hear it with my headphones off, and I was like, "Help me!" <laughs> mm. Okay, and let me know when you're ready to press new game as well, because I have Hi. not done this. 
Um, I'm just trying to adjust volume stuff. <laughs> So, um, for my, right, for I think my I'm good. people, just let me know if any of the volumes need adjusting, please. Friend's thank voice you. could be slightly louder. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I will drag her all the way up. How about that? <laughs> Um, the MC. <laughs> I kind of wanted to be Luna. <laughs> oh, okay. She kind of like has your sort of like vibe, just really? a very pretty regal vibe. Okay. He's going to kill me. 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 <laughs> He's going to kill. <laughs> Bro, okay, 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 okay. okay. Should we skip but... that? <laughs> Hold on. How many times is that? <laughs> I don't even know. He's going to kill me. 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 I can't escape the footsteps behind me. If he catches me, he's going to kill me. Should we alternate the characters, Ish? We can always rotate it later if we find more comfortable with certain characters than others to voice. Yeah. I don't want to die. 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 Let's do it yet again. I don't want to die. 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 I don't want him to kill me. I don't want to die. I want to live. My heart and body are running on pure instinct. I want to live. <laughs> it should have. And I was like, was that me? I think this is narrator. You want to try narrator? Sure. There once was a girl named Dorothy. She lived on a farm. One day, a tornado hit, and she and her beloved dog Toto were whisked away to the magical land of Oz. Dorothy made her way down the yellow brick road with a pair of magic silver slippers. Not red, silver. <laughs> What's about to say? I thought they were supposed to be red. <laughs> At the end of the road, she found the Emerald City. There, she met the Wizard of Oz to ask him to send her home. But she didn't make the journey alone. She had friends with her. A scarecrow without a brain, a tin woodsman without a heart, and a lion without any courage. Together, they journeyed to obtain the things they lacked. Before their journey, their future had seemed... I don't know that word! <laughs> in what? In what? Immute? Immutable. <laughs> Immutable. But afterwards, they had proven they could shape their future with their own desires. From gray to the colors of the rainbow, from black and white to a te... <laughs> a what? A tech... Technolog... Tech... Blah, blah, blah. Technicolor... Technicolor? Is it Technicolored? I, I believe so, yeah. <laughs> Technicolored Splendor. With these fading fragments close at heart, I continued on my journey to you. Uh... Information... Okay. Information slowly filled I, the girl's foggy yeah. mind. Like... I think this is narrator, right? It doesn't matter, fuck it. <laughs> Go for it. Cold sun bit into her cheeks and fingers. Her eyelashes quivered as she slowly opened her eyes. Huh? Where? 
Putting her hands on the ground, she sat up to look around. The color of the walls, the shape of the pebbles blanketing the ground, the smell of the sand hanging in the air. None of it was familiar to her. We've been isekai'd. <laughs> we have been. <laughs> the only thing she knew for sure was that she woken up in a dark alley somewhere. Of course it's a dark alley. <laughs> Listen. I'll the start, start in a dark alley. It always has to start with the fucking dark alley. I don't know why. <laughs> it, like, okay. Obviously, it's a bad idea to be in a dark alley, just saying. Yeah, don't go in there alone. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone, take this! I mean, what? Anyway. <laughs> hmm. Where am I? She stood up unsteadily, but the higher vantage point failed to clarify her situation. Do you want to make noises for these sort of lines? I don't even know how to make it. It's like, is it like a hmm kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, I think so. She could feel someone's gaze on her back and slowly turned around. <gasps> <laughs> A black screen! Oh, medicine! Oh, hi, man! <laughs> oh boy, we got our first male for <laughs> Who's gonna voice the first male? I mean, oh, so yeah, someone yeah. voicing the yeah, female, true, the true, true. Bit, and C, I think mm. it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Who is he? His silver hair swayed gently in the breeze. The eyes peeking out from beneath his hair were clearly fixated on the girl. The intensity of his gaze made her instinctively take a step back. I, I shouldn't. Just ignore him. She gulped and forced herself to speak. Uh, uh, um. Okay. Oh, we got our first choice. Yeah. You can make the choices. <laughs> I'm the one making the choices. Wait a minute. Because you're the MC. What? I don't think that's how it works. No, no. Fuck it, we're pulling out a dice and yeah. rolling a d3. Either a dice or if your chat wants to decide our fate. <laughs> Maybe the chat will get us killed. <laughs> chat, you guys want to decide? <laughs> <laughs> One, two, or three. The first number I see in chat, it will be the first number we choose. Yeah! The first choice we choose. How about that? How Determine our fate in this land of possible... Death and love. I'm actually trying to pull up a dice. Hold on. <laughs> well, no, I, 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 was just, I, I didn't think this through. Yeah, I, I didn't, didn't think, think a lot of things through. I forgot I didn't if think this that game this had was... choices. <laughs> we throw two indecisive people together. It's not a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing great. We're Please doing let great. me know um, anything okay. with the volume if okay. anything Dice, needs raising or lowering. D three. Um, Please let me know from my side as well. I fucking and used the wrong command. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> the answer is two. Okay. Where are we? Oh, one second. I forgot to add something to my title the collab command thing. Because I don't know how to pin messages <laughs> like you did. Oh, you just type in the message and then there will be a pin uh, really? right next to it. Yeah. When you put your mouse on it, there will be a, like a little pin. Oh my god, I see that. Okay, I'm going to do that real quick. Hi. I think I can spell. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, I can't spell. <laughs> I don't know I don't know what spelling is. <laughs> okay, now so there we go. That's the link. And then I'm gonna put that there and then I'm gonna pin that. I think it worked. Maybe Wait, do I click it again? I cannot tell! 
Is it pinned? When when it gets pinned, you actually get to see it on top of your um chat. Pin. Pin. I don't think it's pinning. Is it not? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like it's pinned on your chat. Okay, I'm gonna try again this time from somewhere Oh, there else. we go. There we go. Uh -huh. There we go. Aha! Uh -huh. You did it! Woo! Uh, it wants to unpin... <clears throat> no, don't unpin after a... Okay, manually unpin after end of stream, maybe? Yeah, that's what I did. There we go. Yay! Okay, now it's working good! <laughs> okay. Du -du -du. And... Done, that's... There we go, thank you! Yee. So it was number two, right? Yeah, it was number two. Where are we? Excuse me, where are we? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was great, love it. No, no response. I guess he doesn't want to talk to strangers. I finally found you. What? 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 Found me? Um, do you know me? <laughs> <laughs> you are my... my prey. Oh, it's <laughs> so I'm your prey. But... but... prey? <laughs> oh shoot, oh, I heard a sword! Oh my god, we're gonna die. We're gonna die again. <laughs> We've already spelled out our doom. Now, allow me to destroy you. <laughs> Hostility emanated from him as he pointed his large blade at her. Yes, a oh blade god, will gonna... emanate hostility. <laughs> <laughs> I... I have to get out of here. No, no, no. <laughs> no, just stay there and get stabbed, you know? <laughs> Anyway, driven by instincts, her body began to move by itself. The moment he raised his blade over his head, the girl turned on her heels and bolted. I don't know where I should go, but... I know I have to get away from him! Run, run, <clears throat> little gingerbread man! What? Where should I go? <laughs> Excuse me, coming through! Wait, if there's a crowd, then why don't you just stay in the crowd? I guess uh -huh. they could just poke you from in between the crowd with the sword. Uh, I I guess. She waved through the crowd, her feet carrying her ever forward. There was nothing familiar to her about the busy streets or the surprised pedestrian making way for her. Wait, my prey! <laughs> <clears throat> uh, absolutely not! What should I do? What should I do? <laughs> All she could think about was running. Yeah, run! Get out of there! <laughs> the rest would have to come later. If he catches me, he's going to kill me! He's going to I kill me! Not again. I swear to god. <laughs> <laughs> I can't escape these footsteps behind me. If he catches me, he's going to kill me. I don't want to die. I don't <laughs> want him to kill me. I don't Ghost want to die. Smoke. I want to live. Thank you, Angel, for the tier one. My heart and body are running on pure instinct. I want to live. <laughs> God damn, girl. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly, her foot got caught on something. Sending her flying towards the ground. Uh, I tripped. Uh, there, there's the tripping part. Yeah! The, the, the good old <laughs> tripping trope. Hell yeah. The girl closed her eyes as she felt herself fall. Oof. <laughs> I said that so weirdly. It's like, oof. <laughs> But the impact and pain she'd been anticipating never came. <laughs> I don't know 
why, but the the first thing I see was the eyes, and then I was just like, this is funny. <clears throat> Typically, she opens her eyes. A red-haired man- that's red? That looks like orange. <laughs> it does look like orange. <laughs> A red-haired man was holding her. You're not injured, are you, Signorina? <laughs> Signorina? Signorina? Sig sig I thought it was Signorita. Signorina? Is this- is this a different language? Maybe? You're Hold not on. injured, are you, Signorina? <clears throat> Signorina. <laughs> Your name. It's Italian. Italian? Mamma mia? Ah, so this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, another male. <laughs> Shh, dude, how do you want to do this? There, we already got two Oy, males. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you'll probably be talking a lot as MC, so... Yeah, we'll just- we'll figure it out- we can figure it out later. Yeah. <laughs> of course she's fine, you caught her yourself. Oh, that's oh. a great hair, dude. Uh, thank you for following one ton main. <clears throat> Fuck it. We- we've all- Well, how do you pronounce this? Kyrie? Maybe. <laughs> Kyrie? I'm not Kyrie. too sure. I guess we go with the, whichever one we think it is, and then if somebody knows, they can correct us. Pause. Okay. Sounds good. Kyrie, there are so many other ways we could have stopped her without you needing to trip her, you know? That said, I had faith that you could handle it. Kara. Karamia? Kar. Kar. Karamia? Kar 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 <laughs> Kadamia, I'm just gonna Kadamia. go with Kadamia. <laughs> hey now. Uh, um. Thank you very much for saving me. The names were. Kadamia, my ill nature friend here, is Kiri. Mr. Kadamia and Mr. Kairi. Huh? It sounds as though this is the first time you've heard of us. Huh? I'm the one who should be confused here. No one in this city, especially not in this particular district, doesn't know who we are. Good point. Where are you from, see? I've caught you. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. <laughs> Look at that evil smile. <laughs> Yes, Osmobia, I finally keep playing it! Pray, did you think you could run away from me? I'm going to gobble you- <laughs> <laughs> Sir, sir. <laughs> I'm going to gobble you up. Oh, I'm so sorry, I completely forgot about you. Our favorite heretic from the outlying forest. Tick? I don't remember who's who anywhere else. Fuck it! <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You don't even know who was chasing you. Well, I mean, if he points a sword at you, the first thing you think, run, not who is this. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> He's part of the wolf something or other group who inhabited the forest outside the city. He's there, uh... <laughs> Trailing off and scratching his cheek with a finger, he turned towards Kairi. For some reason, I read that as stretching his cheek, and I was like, why would you do that? Stretching his cheek. Yeah. Oh, that hurts. How do I say that? Ca Caesar? 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 His name is Caesar, <laughs> head of the wolf gang. Yeah, that's it. That was his name. Caesar it's salad. Caesar. <laughs> Even when she spoke his name aloud, it didn't ring any bells. I'll destroy you. Quite the troublemaker, isn't he? Well, I guess he's always like this, Kairi. I'll let you take care of this, Signorina. <laughs> Mr. Karamia? That instant. Kairi? 
firmly grasped her outstretched hand. Please stay close to me, or are you spoiling for a fight? Sorry, but quite frankly, I'm not interested in such troublesome affairs. What? Oh, don't worry, we normally settle things peacefully. Normally? Normally. And other times it's a fist fight! Lorraine Constance sees this cha charge forward at Katamiya. He took aim at Katamiya and swiftly swung his sword at him. Katamiya took a half step back to dodge them properly, close the distance before, uh, between them. Before Caesar could react, Katamiya had drawn his pistol from ah. his holster. <laughs> <Dun, dun. laughs> <laughs> Chuck, to Chuck. a knife <laughs> 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 has drawn his pistol from his holster and pressed its muzzle to Caesar's forehead. This is Oz's territory. Weapons and violence of all sorts are strictly prohibited. If you don't want Swiss to be cheese. turned into Swiss cheese, <laughs> you better leave immediately. Nah, he did Caesar salad! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. I'm not terribly fond of Swiss cheese, but the image seems rather apt, don't you agree? <laughs> Here you let go of that girl's hand and snapped his fingers. At his signal, men in black suits appeared to surround Caesar. Like Karamia, every single one of them trained their own hinges <laughs> onto him. Caesar grabbed Katamiya's gun and shoved it away. The men in black suits tensed up, ready to fire at a single word from Katamiya. No, art is. <laughs> Katamiya raised his right hand and the men lowered their weapons. Now go. You best remember that. that what? Oh, I. Okay, I thought something else. <laughs> you best remember that that neck of yours is mine to slit, my prey. <laughs> the hair slicked back. Oh my god. Prey, huh? Just what kind of relationship do you have with Caesar, little miss? I, uh, don't know. He was just standing there when I woke up. And before I knew it, he was shoving that sword in my face. <clears throat> I didn't even know his name until now. Hmm. Speaking of names, what is your name, Signorina? Huh? Your name. <laughs> you haven't told us what it is yet. It's... <clears throat> huh? Oh, is something the matter? She couldn't remember her name. And it wasn't just her name that she couldn't remember. Her entire mind seems to be engulfed in a thick fog. She couldn't pull up a single memory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I... I'm, unfam I'm in an unfamiliar town with unfamiliar people. Oh, there is you don't anything? even know who I am. No, you're good. Okay. A wave of anxiety rolled through her body, paralyzing her with helplessness. I... I don't know. I... Who am I? Ah! <laughs> Damn, we just passed out from trying to remember our old yeah. name. Uh... <laughs> a tale as old as time. <laughs> Atashi ni... Sekai... Do you? The lady who taught me about... Uh, uh, I, I couldn't read it. <laughs> Whatever. Is it just... I think it's soft, but... What? <clears throat> I don't know, can you hear can it? I can somewhat hear it, yeah. Yeah, but it's I don't like know really why small. it's so soft. You can man everywhere. I 
I don't know how to make it louder. It's okay. Well, then again, we might get a strike for that if it was YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So maybe it's good that it's a little lowered. Maybe they won't mute this part of the video. Oh. You know, sometimes Twitch mutes it. I don't know why, but the art in Oz Mafia always reminds me of Diabolic Lovers. Oh my god, yes, <laughs> yes. Maybe it's He's the so Maybe it is the same artist. It might be. It might be. Cause I've noticed some art in like the Sengoku Nightblood was the same one that did Color X Malice. Yeah. And Nor 9. Ooh. I see a cat play. Robin Hood. <laughs> I think that was a cat girl. <laughs> Is it a girl? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one was a girl. That's even better. To you, the I lady mean, who taught me about the colors of the world. A pony petchet. <clears throat> Yay! Yay! <clears throat> when she woke up. When she next awoke, her ceiling fan greeted her eyes. Soft noises whispered from it as it slowly turned round and round. She sat up a bit and realized that someone had laid her on a couch and covered her with a blanket. Oh, how nice of them. Yeah! I don't know where I am again. It looks nice in this room. It does look nice. What the heck? I want a room like this. Yeah. My confusion filled her with despair. You're up? Huh? Oh, that wasn't who uh, I thought it was gonna be. You <laughs> boy. Stay put. I'll get them. Get them. Get it here. Hi, Freelance! Ah, oh, he left. <laughs> <laughs> Come back, pretty boy! Was someone, someone just like <laughs> okay, whatever. I don't know who that was. I don't know anything. Was that little tiny flower in her hair before? I have no idea. <laughs> Hello, Signorina. How are you feeling, Mister Karamia? Mister Katie? Oh no, wait! I did know. Wait, her dress is different. Wait, did, did they, they change? change? <laughs> <laughs> I see you've learned our names, even though you don't seem to know your own. You don't remember. Is that true, Signorina? Yes. See, isn't that what I just said? <laughs> you lie on occasion. I can't just take the word for it. <laughs> that is not true. My, my, how unusual. Defending me, Axel? Alright, so his name is Axel. Got it. That one's a little easier to say. <laughs> yeah, it it's is. It's not on occasion. You lie all the time, Kiri. <laughs> That's true. Kadamiya sat down on the table next to the couch. He sat on the table? <laughs> Honey, what? Why? There's a couch right there! <laughs> There's literally a couch and you decide to sit on the table. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> if what Kerry says is true, not only do you not know your name, but you're not a villager either. A villager? Ha ha! Minecraft villager. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> How? Indeed, I looked for a mark, but I couldn't find one. But someone in the who changed their clothes! <laughs> villager? Mark? Do you not know the, how this town works? S sorry No worries, you can always learn the things you don't know. Don't be so prickly, Axel. Mm. I've been called out! <laughs> <laughs> we have so many things to do in so little time, but I guess we ought to start by introducing ourselves and this town. Several fami- blah 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 what is- uh, how do I say that word? Fanigli? 
Famigli. Several Famigli control this town. We are Famiglia Oz. Our Don is Car Karamia. The Don? Is that the most important person in the Famiglia? Eh, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, we got choices! Whoa. Oh, Familia. The G is silent. Ah! Familia! Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you! <laughs> Too many okay. foreign words! There is a lot of foreign words that I do not understand. <laughs> but it's okay. Yeah, because we got the dice roll R and Jesus to choose the choices for R us. Jesus. <laughs> Why are you not working? <laughs> oh, there we go. We got a two again. <laughs> Pardon my rudeness. Pardon my rudeness. Uh, oh, where's this coming from? I didn't realize he was such an important person. I've been so rude to you. Oh, that. Don't worry about it. I prefer it when people are frank with me. I'm not good with formalities. Mm. <laughs> Our consigliere. Mm. <laughs> consigliere? <laughs> what are these words? <laughs> Our number two is... Kitty. If you need any help with anything, he will lend you a hand. I hate having to do any. <laughs> I. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I hate having to do annoying things and work for strangers, though. But it is my job, so I'll do something to help. And he seems like a kind person, but he doesn't hesitate to speak his mind either. <laughs> if Katamia is number one and Kitty is number two, does that make Axel number three? <laughs> Does that mean Mr. Axe is never the thing? That's <laughs> none of your business. <laughs> like how he just like goes... <laughs> He's like, shot it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hi, Venice! I, I'm sorry. Axel, didn't I tell you to cut it that out? Yes, but this girl isn't part of our familia. Tim Axel is just 100% sin. <laughs> yeah. Almost like the Axel that we know! It looks crazy! <laughs> Are all it's kind Axel's of funny when It's kind of funny when Mr. You must always obey the Dawn violates his own policy. Ugh. <laughs> I'm the what? Camporegi? Papa... Leg <laughs> regime? Camper... Camper... Camper regime? Yeah, I'm the I'm the something. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Ice was kind of scary. Aside from us, we have dozens of sold at <laughs> Most of them are outside the estate, though. They were the ones who carried you here. Then who changed their clothes? <laughs> they for the huggies. Oh, did they? <laughs> well, thank you for that. What? Why are you thanking us? You are basically just kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> if you hadn't saved me, Mr. Caesar might have killed me. I think he doesn't even begin to cover it. Uh. <laughs> what an interesting person you are, Signorina. Signorina? Well, what good night, Signorina would be easier. <laughs> I don't think I can bear heads apart with you. Oh? Did we already capture one's heart? <laughs> Karamiya's personal feelings aside, we have no intention of cutting you loose. I'd rather not turn you over to another familia. Cut me loose? Another familia? Well... <clears throat> knock knock! 
There was a knock at the door, and then a man in black suit entered the room, bowing his head to the three men. Wait, I think I should increase the volume for the SFX, but since that's already loud, I'm just gonna increase the master volume. Hi. Did I do it too much? No, that's good. Wait, uh, back. Okay, there we go. Preparations for okay? meetings? Yeah. Okay, good. I can hear it a lot better. Yes! <clears throat> Preparations for the meetings are complete, he whispered to Karamiya. Grassi, that will be all. That one was the easiest word so far they gave. <laughs> I only remember that because I was watching it, um... I watched a movie in Italian, and that's like the only thing I remember from the oh, movie. Yeah. Just Grassi. <laughs> yeah. The men in black suits bowed his head again and left the room. He did gazed at her as he picked up his hat from the table. We can kill two birds with one stone if we introduce the other fami fami family to you at the family? meeting. <laughs> yeah, family, fam family to you at the meeting. Now let's get going. We're going out. Yeah, but there's one thing we need to do first. Something we need to do. We need to give Sinorina a name. We can't just call her that, can we? <laughs> <laughs> we just need something to call her until her memory comes back. Could you just pick something, Sinorina? I feel huh? another choice Me? coming. <clears throat> you don't want us just picking any old name, right? You need a name you like. Uh. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure if I, we click, I can't think of uh -huh. one. They're probably just gonna throw us a random name. So yeah. let, let's just decide something. I have no ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Click. I'll decide myself, and we'll we'll see okay. to go, where to go from there. All right then. I have got it. Ah! It popped it up in like this tiny little window. Oh wait, really? <laughs> it says pick a name for the main character. Currently, it has in it Fuka. Uh, Fuka? Yeah, I'm, maybe that's what the game has as her default name if you don't pick? Um... Let's see... What's a good name? <laughs> I'm trying to... Okay, let me, let me think. The font is a little different from the standard Windows font. I kind of like it. Yeah, go font! How about Sheena? Which one? Sheena? S H. How do you use a good name? That's my character's name. S H I N A? S H I N A, yeah, Sheena. Okay, sounds good. I'll put that in. <laughs> Sheena. I just took your name and my name. I would like to. Oh! I would that's like cute. to let you know. I would like to let you know that. That's cute. <clears throat> Please call me Sheena. What made you choose that name? <laughs> the... Um, it was just the first thing that came to mind. Is it strange? Oh no, it's quite a lovely name. Uh, oh, thank you very much, Mr. K. You're quite welcome. I feel like he's the slady flirty. <laughs> Maybe it's Maybe. the pose. So from what I'm saying, Karamiya is like a cheerful... Thank you for following me, um, Arikadoses. Cheerful individual, then we have the freaking... Maybe flirt stoic type. Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> and then the sin. <laughs> Choo-choo! <clears throat> 
Sorry for calling this meeting so suddenly. Thank you for taking the time to come. Karamiya and the others had led her into the room through a heavy door. All eyes were on her in an instant, making her gulp. Please relax, this is a safe area. Imagine if it was actually a safe. <laughs> <laughs> he said safe area. This is the area of a safe. Or like, there's a safe or this is a safe. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty snaked his hand around Sheena's waist and whispered oh into god, her he ear. Oh my god, he did it. He snaked his hand. Oh. 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 <laughs> I need another adult. <laughs> Sheila took her seat in the chair between Karamiya and Kitty as she was instructed. Axel stood behind the three of them, keeping an eye on the other family as they took their seats. Some people aren't here yet. Karamiya set his elbows on the table and, look at, and looked at Sheila. I'll introduce them to you while we're waiting. Just remember what you can. Uh, okay. Is that Red Riding Hood? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, oh. shoulder voice. <clears throat> that group of kids over there is a familiar Grim. Grim? <laughs> like Grim, Grim fairy tales? <laughs> um, the one in the red hood is Scarlet. The jolly one is Han Hansel. The gloomy one. Gretel. Those are easier names. Scarlet, Hansel, and Hi, Gretel. Hanos. What is that word? <sighs> ah, so, 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 <laughs> my God! I think we need a translation. <laughs> All three of them are. What do you mean? It's more squeaky than usual. Familiar. Grim doesn't have a don. Although Scarlet is the one in charge. <laughs> There's like a little pixie looking thing. <laughs> He's so tiny. <laughs> tiny. <laughs> the electric group over there is Familia Anderson. The talkative one is the Don. And I sound squeaky. And I don't know. The quiet one is the Car Caporegin. Elling. And the little man is Melissus. Melissus <laughs> and their conciliar. You think? Erling Melissus. That looks female. Eee, yeah! the cat. She's so pretty. Oh my god. Does she have little them flowers eyes. in the ear? Yeah, she does. That's, That's so, so pretty. What? <laughs> kawaii. <laughs> oh, kawaii. Kide. <clears throat> Mm. <laughs> so go to get it. And that cat ear girl, young lady over there, is Pasha Pasha. The daughter of family familiar boots. She's not here yet. But what we're also she's, expecting. Is she not right there? Oh no wait, she's wait, who? Uh no I think I think he's talking about another person saying oh. like She's not here yet, but we're also expecting Heidi from Familia oh. Adelhe. Adelhide? Maybe. Pashet and Heidi. So Familia Grim is Scarlet, Hansel, and. Uh, um. Gretel. Well, don't worry about getting them all down right away. It's probably for the best if you don't get involved with the other two fam family anyway. I heard a big door. Same, and I got so really heavy. scared. <laughs> yeah. Why am I late already? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I thought it was a guy. <laughs> Hades' large frame lumbered into the room. You're late. It's extremely late, Heidi. Oh my god, You're supposed I love to take your seats on time. I love that <laughs> voice you did for her. Oh, hush. Unlike y'all, I'm a very busy woman. You should be grateful that I've graced you with my presence. <laughs> I love it. 
He snorted and sat down in her presumably custom made extra large chair. <laughs> I saw whisper something into Kiri's ear. At that, Kiri stood up and bowed deeply. I know we called this meeting rather abruptly. Just drop the formalities and get to the point. Uh, very well then. This afternoon, we took in an amnesiac young girl into our custody. Here she is, Sheena. Uh, um, I'm Sheena. Pleased to meet you all. <laughs> <laughs> this girl? Okay. <clears throat> she stood up in a hurry when she heard her name. Um... She thought she ought to say something, but underneath the pressure of the case direct directed at her, she couldn't get her tongue to cooperate. Instead, she merely bowed her head and quickly sat back down. We examine. <laughs> get it! I'm sorry, you did what? <laughs> <laughs> they did! We examined her body, but did not find any familiar crest. So we decided that Familia Oz will retain custody of her. We hope for your cooperation in this matter. That's cheating, Oz! We don't have a lot of people on our territory. You should hand over, over to me. Your territory is tiny because of your own lack of power and ability, you idiot. Whoa! Whoa! Wasn't expecting that! <laughs> idiot! It takes one to know one, stupid! She looked like she was holding chocolate bars. Uh, and calm down. Shut up, Pipsqueak. Think you could keep quiet if I stuffed the hell- Oh, what?! Oh, oh, my <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> a hand grenade in your mouth? I wouldn't mind running a little experiment to find out. Yeah, blow him up, Gretel! <laughs> Cut it out, Gretel! And stop encouraging her, Hansel! <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> oh my that. god, they're all cuckoo! Masa, you ought to cool your head as well. The tiny old wait. man! <laughs> <laughs> but Gretel insulted her familiar. Makes me sad, doesn't it make you sad, Melissa? I think she more threatened her! <laughs> <laughs> I think so too. Oh, but of course it does. But she is also correct that we do lack experience. <laughs> we will be penalized because of fights here. <laughs> <laughs> What is that face? Oh my god, I love it. He's making that kind of face. <laughs> do, do we want to her territory to become even smaller? Ugh. No, no, I don't want that. <laughs> then let us hold our tongues. Please continue, Lord Kiri. Thank you. However, our business is already concluded. What? You called me out here to introduce this little girl? Indeed, I wanted to explain things now to prevent any issues in the future. This is uncons- Unsomething! Unconscious- Unconscious- This is unconscionable! How rude! Help! What is English? Yes. Kitty shot Kitty a glare as she stood up and stormed out of the room. <laughs> the door. The other family followed suit and filtered out of the room as well. Only familiar Oz remained in the room. <laughs> Miss Heidi was sure, sure was upset. <laughs> oh, she wasn't really. She always liked that. Well, now we made it clear that you are under, our, under the protection of fam familiar Oz, Sinorina. You should be able to live your life in peace, assuming you follow the rules, that is. Protection? Everyone in this town is required to belong to a familia. No exceptions. You have the privilege of deciding which familia to belong to, Signorina. But until you make your decision, we will be taking care of you. My decision? A familia is a family after all. It's not something you can change easily. 
So make your choice wisely. Family. The word warmed her heart like a light in the darkness. They're going to give her a stranger shelter until she found a place to live. The kindness they were showing her made her feel grateful and a bit guilty. Why are you all being so nice to me, Mr. Karamiya? If it weren't for my memory, you wouldn't have any reason to take me in. You have no need to worry. You don't decide whether you're valuable to us, we do. So please, just let us... <laughs> just let us be of use to you until you figure out where you're going. <clears throat> now, Kiri, why don't you have... Why do you have to be so fussy? No. Ak, so what is the... What word am I looking for? That's me all the time. Don't put that on <laughs> me, it's annoying. <laughs> Well, anyway, we're done here, so let's get going. I just say the wrong words and I stick with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are we going back to the mansion? Yes and no. <laughs> That's the fact that he turns around to smile, though. That's oh, this looks nice. Oh, is this our room? Dr. Robin Hood, we brought her with us. Nope, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it, unless we're just gonna sleep in like this infirmary looking place with the masked hey, man. Yo, it's Robin Hood. It's Robin Hood. <laughs> oh, do come in. I see. So you're the girl everyone's been talking about. You're... My name is Robin Hood. I am Sherwood's clinic and I am the one and only doctor in this town. There's only one doctor in the town. How big is this town? How yeah, <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> There's no illness the doc the good doctor can't cure. You can tell her she must be a famous physician just by looking at him. No, nope. can't you? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Is it because he's all co covered up? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for following, Direxion. She repeated parts of what Kadamia had just said as she gazed at Robin Hood. He's wearing all black and he even has a beak. It almost Hi. looks like a crow. Hi! Car, car. <laughs> Hi! Kirby, Hoyo. What is it? Is something wrong? Oh no, I was just thinking you kind of look like a crow. Peck, peck, caca, caca! <laughs> <laughs> Me, a crow? Hoyo. Hoyo. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was extremely rude of me. Bakak! Wait, no, wait, that's a chicken. <laughs> Please, raise their head. Some others made similar comments recently, so I guess they must have been right. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of that outfit of yours. Of course they're going to say you look like a crow. Well, I can't... I can't disagree with that. <laughs> At any rate, if we have time to stand around and chat like this, shall I begin the exam? Miss Shima, please come over here. Exam? Ooh. There were two small chairs sitting next to the, a table. <laughs> that it sounded freaking... like we fell <laughs> onto it. <laughs> Robin Hood took a seat, and Shima sat down across from him. Open your mouth. Sit still. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> she was a bit confused, so she followed his instructions. With that, he began his examining her with <laughs> practice hands. My mind just because goes to the him... dirty place. <laughs> Oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he closed her mouth and touched the sides of her jaw, then put his hands on her cheeks and gently pulled her eyelids down with his thumb to inspect the color. Eyelids have color? Yeah. Yeah. I would think eye color. 
Well, you certainly look healthy. Are you feeling ill or hurting anywhere? No, I'm fine. I see. <laughs> There's... Then there don't seem to be any issues. Robin Hood turned towards the table and pulled out a new file. Is he gonna handwrite everything? Yeah! It cover its cover has Shinna written on it in bright red ink. Why bright red? <laughs> she opened it up and noted the results of his examination. Like, I get red is a really pretty color, mm -hmm. and I love red ink, but why bright red for a file? <laughs> I guess more noticeable? Probably. I'm in charge of making sure most of the people of this town are in good health. If you haven't have any issues, please don't hesitate to stop by. How many people are in this town for yeah! one doctor to be able to do that? <laughs> <laughs> and I guess they don't get sick that often. Oh, maybe. Thank you. I will. Hello, hello. We're back to the check-up hey, floor. We're back. Several so daddy. Thank you for the hydrate. So daddy came out to greet Karamia and the others. One of them came up to Kitty and whispered into his ear. Really? Thank you. Kiri nodded without sparring so much as a glance yes, towards the Sodato those are pity before turning so back them. towards Axel. Axel, Karamia and I have some business to attend to. Please take Machina inside. Why do I... I had a feeling you would say that, so I gave you a reason before I asked. Orders are orders, aren't they, Axel? Uh. He's got him! <laughs> Axel glanced yes, at Sheena and then Kitty before nodding with a sigh. Understood. Right this way, Gus. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that takes Gus all this. Oh, okay. She followed Axel into a garden next to the mansion. The evening dew on the lawn felt nice and cool against her legs. There's no way they actually have work on a Saturday evening. That was just an excuse. I'm sure they just ran off to go drinking or something. <laughs> to go get drunk! <laughs> I, would, I don't blame them. I feel like running a whole entire fam oh my God, family would true. be like really tiring. <laughs> and they're probably also like, they seem like the type to tease Axel by like, Aha, I, I tricked you into doing it. Okay, bye, I'm going drinking. <laughs> <laughs> she gazed up at the night sky as she walked behind Axel, listening to him grumble to himself. It's just one strange thing after another. She was in she was in an unfamiliar land and under the protection of unfamiliar people she'd only just met. And it wasn't as if her surroundings were the only thing she was confused about. She still couldn't remember a single thing about herself. But I wonder why I feel like everything's going to work out. Was it because Karamiya seemed trustworthy? Or was this just her naivety? She didn't feel a single bit anxious thinking about what was to come. In fact, her heart actually swelled with anticipation. This is much better than being pessimistic, right? I, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> We're here. Come in. Hi. It's so blunt. Oh, that's Nothing pretty! Else. Yo! This is... Wait, is this our room? Yeah! <gasps> wow! Yo, it's so pretty and it's even got like lavender. That it smells so nice. Oh my god. This is a beautiful room. We I even have a, a little like picnic this. table. <laughs> I want a room like this. Yeah, what the heck? that'd be so cool. It's like so space yeah. spacious. And look at the Is window the window sills with like the plants. It's so bright and pretty. And all the plants. Uh -huh. yeah. Really makes it feel homey. <laughs> it's cute. It's so cute. That looks like a big this bed too. Is... 
This will be your room. My room? We can't exactly let you sleep outside, so... Yes. What? What is he talking about? Ah, that's adorable. You can just ask Kiri for more details, for a more detailed explanation tomorrow morning or something. Um, Mister. Oh, my voice is dying. <laughs> oh no! Drink water. Drink water. <clears throat> I'm trying. I'm trying. Hold on. Um, Mister Axel. He left. He wanted to thank him. Should I do narrator so it's a little easier on your throat? Yeah. <laughs> okay, got it. Once he left, she lowered her hand and headed toward the center of the room. She turned in a circle, looking over the space. What a lovely room. It's really like something out of a dream. It kind it really of is. is. It really is. <laughs> <clears throat> Just as she was about to examine the room's furnishing more, furnishings <laughs> more closely, a yawn passed through her lips. Oh my god, I started yawning! Oh my gosh! <laughs> it, it's so oh, immersive! You got her yawning. Your VTube character is very cute. And I yawned and I started person. yawning. Yes. Like, <clears throat> oh my god, thank you so much! Maybe oh, I should like get to bed now so I can enjoy myself tomorrow. Thank you, thank you. She sat down on the bed and stretched her arms toward the ceiling. I'm not going to wake up in the morning and realize this was all a dream, right? <gasps> she doesn't want it to be. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, even if it does turn out to be a dream, that's fine too. Even if everything turned out to be a mere fantasy, it would still make for a wonderful memory. Good night, Mr. Karamiya, <laughs> Mr. Kiri, Mr. Axel. Oh. Expecting it to get loud there. <laughs> <clears throat> Are you up, Sheena? That voice is Kadamia's. Oh, that's our house! Oh, it's so cute! It's so cute! It kind of reminds me of House Moon Castle. <laughs> oh! <clears throat> In the little cottage. I don't know. Anyway. Good oh. morning, Mr. Kadamia. Morning. Did you sleep well? Yes, like a baby. Goo goo ga ga. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure it's okay to lend me such a lovely room? Of course. After all, we had it set up just for you, said Norena. He really is a shrimp. For me. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be a storage shed. We couldn't exactly make you spend the night in a mansion full of men, now could we? <laughs> Oh, so it was a storage shed. <laughs> wow. It turned into a really nice room, though. It did. I wonder what did they do to everything that was in storage. Good question. Maybe in this other <laughs> little storage thing over here. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they put oh. it in Axel's room. Axel, bro. Poor Axel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much for everything. Your poor voice. I know. Hmm. I'm just glad you're happy with it. I imagine you're hungry. We can have breakfast in the in the mansion while I show you around. That sounds wonderful. The, 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 the music's nice. It is. <clears throat> I wonder if I can find a playlist for the music that plays in the game. It's pretty nice. To probably. chill to. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, um, 
and also in the main mm -hmm. menu, there's a there's a chance that the main menu actually has a little section that where you can just hear the OSTs from the game. Oh, that's probably true. <clears throat> when you enter from the front door, immediately to the right is the kitchen, and to the left is the living room. Please feel free to make use of the common areas. The rooms you see from the hall belongs to me and my subordinates. They're private areas, so get permission before entering. Understand? Yes, I do. The room way in the back is my office. I spend most of my time in there when I'm in the mansion, so don't hesitate to drop by. Oh, also. Oh, he put a ribbon on it. That's adorable. From uh, oh the key. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kanemia pulled a key from his pocket with a red ribbon tied to it and handed it to her. This is the key to the bathroom the in this hall. Bathrooms have keys. <laughs> <What>? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we had to. We had it set up for company, but it hardly gets any use. So take it for yourself, Signorina. Then where do these we people go to the bathroom? We got a bathroom all to ourselves! And they probably they have another bathroom. <laughs> Are you sure? Of Your course I'm sure. Throat. Someone should use it. But, like I said before, only men that live in this mansion. You wouldn't want to bump into someone in the bathroom, right? Or do you? <laughs> <That's>... No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> this is the kitchen. All the food and cooking is handled here. You're welcome to make your meals in other rooms, but to make sure you return your dishes. Boss. Oh, Axel, done with breakfast already. He's not much of a talker. Oh, this shy boy. It's okay, he's just a son. <laughs> <laughs> Axel nodded slightly in response. What? I thought we were going to eat together. Oh, that's cute. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mr. Axel, thank you for last night. Uh. <laughs> Axel put his hand on his chin and cocked his head slightly. A few moments later, he furrowed his brow and shook his head. I don't recall doing anything deserving of thanks. Well, you show me to my room. I was just following orders. Axel looked away and slipped past Karimia. He's totally a sin. Yeah! <laughs> <clears throat> What's with him? It's out of character for him to be acting so shy. Oh my god, he really is a oh, sin. shy boy! He's so cute! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> These good boys are already so cute. Huh? He's being shy? You couldn't tell. I thought it was <laughs> obvious. Where was the blushing? I mean, it was kind of obvious, but... <laughs> yeah, me... it's so cute! He just seems angry to me. <laughs> well, I guess it would look that way to someone who doesn't know him well. Bro, we don't even know him well <laughs> and we can already tell. <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah, bye, Nya. <laughs> oh, no, Nya. Well, I guess I'm reading everything while we're with Nya at the end. Let's go, Nya! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be on the cat boy. Nya nya. Heck yeah, everyone. Gonna put cat ears on everyone now, <laughs> nya. Good morning, Karamiya, Miss Sheena. Oh, Mr. Kitty, nya. Good morning, nya. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. What, nya? You just woke up, nya. Yes, today is Sunday. I have no reason to get up early, unlike a certain stupid lion. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nya, excuse me for being stupid, Nya. <laughs> the hell the Nyas make sense? <laughs> <laughs> the Nyas makes sense, he's a lion! 
<laughs> he yes. ate a slice the life of rye bread Kadamia had abandoned Nia. He took a plate and glass from the cabinet, setting the bread on the plate and placing it on the dining table, Nia. Taking a seat in the chair next to Kadamia, he put the empty glasses on the table in front of him before pointing at the pitcher of water in the middle of the table, Nia. Kadamia, pass the water, please. What do you even have those arms for, Nya? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can hear it pouring! Despite his complaints, Nya, Karamiya took the picture and filled Kiri's glass for him, Nya. Thank you very much. You certainly are a lot of trouble for a conciliar, Nya. He was basically like, hey boss, pour me some water, please. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, yeah, my too. arms don't work. <laughs> <laughs> please don't say any <laughs> please don't say things to tarnish my reputation in front of women it's rude don't you agree miss sheena uh, anonya <laughs> anonya <laughs> oh my god that's so cute <laughs> sheena yeah. you don't have to indulge him yeah he he always causes trouble yeah <laughs> I was supposed to do narrator because you have a lot of lines. <laughs> Kadamiya yeah. stood up and started stacking the empty plates. Sheena stood up too to help, but he gestured at her to sit back down. Well, it seems preferable in comparison to a boar like Karamiya. By the way, Miss Sheena, have you decided on your plans for the day? My plans for the day, yeah? Yes, do you intend to spend your precious Sunday cooped up in the mansion? Precious, yeah. Oh, thank you, Venice. Is today a special day or something, yeah? Oh, I guess we need to explain that too, yeah. <laughs> you know, this town is controlled by several fam family, right, yeah? So the cute. family quarrel over territory from Monday through Saturday, yeah. But Sunday have been declared a day of peace, yeah. We call it the Sunday Compromise, yeah. <laughs> cool Consequently, yeah. Even if you were to wander off on your own today, yeah, you wouldn't be in danger, yeah. You don't know the area, so it might be wiser to stay inside. But it's up to you, all right. You're saying I'm free to walk around I'm free to walk about town, yeah? Yes, exactly. I'm free, yeah. Hmm. Oh. I wonder what I should do today, yeah? That's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh Who would you like to meet? Maybe this is how we I start getting on you, somebody's but... routes. I don't know about you, but that cat girl will be looking kind of something down I know, there. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> put it in a safe slot just in case. Hi, yeah. Should we go cat? Yes, yeah. Oh, there's little pictures. Sort of like a stamp on them. I think for the familiar seal? Maybe, yeah. Cat girl. <laughs> We love our cat yes. girls, yeah. Excuse me. Oh, you were... Sorry. I forgot your name. Wait, the Nya would fit his so Yes, well, yeah. it's the one. <clears throat> I am Vachette, Nya. I serve as the daughter of the Ritz family, Nya. What is your name, Nya? I love it. Sheena. Oh, yes, Nya. That was your name, wasn't it, Nya? I shall endeavor not to forget it again, Nya. Oh my god, I love it. Pardon, yeah. Could you tell Karabia that I'm here, Nya? I have an appointment, Nya. He's in the mansion, is he not, Nya? Yes, certainly. <laughs> oh, so cute! <laughs> I thought his office was the other one we first found ourselves unconscious in. Yeah, I thought that too. This looks like the White House. <laughs> I brought some tea, Nya. Oh, thanks, Nya. Oh, these are all characters <laughs> that you voice? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Woo! Karamiya, Nya. You aren't forcing this girl to work as a servant now, are you, Nya? 
No, of course not, Nya. She just did that of her own volition, Nya. Right, Signorina, Nya? Yes, Nya. I just wanted to be helpful, Nya. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you say so, Nya, I'll take your word for it, Nya. <laughs> this is great! <laughs> But you are quite a strange woman to be living in a place full of men like this, Nya. Ha ha! to do RNG. Thank you for the hide RNG! RNGs, let's take the wheel. We got a one. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh no. I could say the same about you. <laughs> I could say the same about you, Pasha Nya. You're pretty unusual yourself, Nya. Me, Nya? Yes, like the sense of yours, Nya. <laughs> Nya, what are you implying, Nya? Oh, you do have a point, Nya. <laughs> Get me, Nya. How dare you, of all people, believe to a fellow belly day such as myself, Nya? Wait, does he has a does he have a tail or something that he's hiding? <laughs> oh, I wonder. <laughs> you just said you were unusual, Nya. That is not an insult, Nya. Mr. Karimia is a fellow feline, yeah? Can't you tell, Nya? I'm a lion at heart, Nya. But I can be pretty scary when my feline nature comes out. Go! Go! <laughs> Wait, he's a lion? Yes! The scaredy lion? Oh is that you? God, the princess! <laughs> a lion? But Mr. Keremia, Nya, you don't have ears and a tail like Miss Pachette, Nya. What? Yeah, it would be kind of creepy if I did have them, Nya. Besides, if I had appendages like that, Nya, Kitty would just... Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> He's making puns! So I know. <laughs> What a good <laughs> You would? What would you do? Did you just kill me? <laughs> yeah. Because you know, kitty. <laughs> huh? Oh, come on, kitty. Kitty will just kill him. Me. Get it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is like, okay. I okay. see. Ya. <laughs> oh, what's with you two, Nya? I'm, really, I'm trying really hard to make a joke, Nya. You're killing me here, Nya. <laughs> joke, Nya. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nya. I didn't realize, Nya. Could you tell that one more time, Nya? <laughs> Oh my yes, gosh. Nya. Please explain how it's funny, Nya. <laughs> Look at that! And that is funny! <laughs> oh, oh my god! So cute! He's blessed. <laughs> ah! <clears throat> no, I'm not repeating it. It's too embarrassing, Nya. <laughs> oh, he's so cute! Kelly! He tried so Kelly. hard to be funny! Kelly! Kelly! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Oi, it's evening already. Mr. Karamia said we'd be having dinner soon, Nya. Maybe I'll walk around town a little bit, Nya. Nya, Nya. Nya, Nya. Nya, 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 Nya. Wait, uh, don't worry about that. I got that. <laughs> okay, okay. She walked down the street, admiring how the setting sun dyed the scene a vibrant orange, even as she kept one eye on where she'd come from. Eventually, the road of red brick ended in a big plaza. 
It was filled with people just relaxing and enjoying themselves. I wonder who's talking. What a lovely signorina you are. Wait the sh wait the NPC I have some delicious bread. <laughs> Interested? The NPCs get a f get um an icon. Yeah, they do. Normally <laughs> they don't make that. <laughs> <clears throat> doing okay, doing okay. Twitter's being a butt, but oh, no. <laughs> stream wise, it's aside from Twitter, everything good. He must be important then. Yeah, he must be an important NPC, right? Twitter hit me and it's been very... I got unlucky. So hopefully it gets fixed. But if it doesn't, well, fuck, uh, I'm doomed. Matte, matte, matte. Oh, no. I... Uh. Oh. My <laughs> 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 stomach just grows. Yeah. <laughs> Your stomach gra started growling right on cue. I'll give you a free sample. How about it? A sample. But I'm sure Mr. Karimia and the others are preparing dinner for me. Thank you, but I'll have to pass. That's okay. Well, next time then. Oh, good shopkeeper. Keep out, then ran off. Uh, he really starts on me. He bowed and ran off. That's so suspicious. What the? Oh, that's true. Why did he bow? I, I thought we just happened to be walking by his stall. Yeah. Is he like a walking shopkeeper? Uh, Maybe. Oh. Um. Never thought someone would try to talk to me. Wait. Of course, we bump into someone. Ow. Oh, are you okay? A little boy. Y yes. Sorry, I didn't think there was anyone behind me. Can you stand up? The young man held out his hand. She took it and they got up together. There we go. You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. That's a relief. It'd be terrible if I hurt a girl. What's your name? Although, maybe I should introduce myself first. My name is So. My name's So. What's your name? I'm Sheena. Sheena. Sheena, huh? Uh, I know the faces of most of the people in this town, but yours isn't familiar at all. Oh, it's sure. just Reeks? It's only it's not sure you oh, wouldn't okay. be familiar with me. I just recently... Recently? You said a good idea to tell him the truth. I moved here recently. Oh, that was a lie, wasn't it? Huh? It's written all over your face. Huh, really? No, no, not literally. But you really were lying, weren't you? It's bad to lie. It makes people sad when you lie to them. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't look so upset. I'm not mad at you. You must have had a reason to lie. Yes. I don't remember anything from before I came here. You don't remember? Yes. When I came to, I was lying in an alley and a man named Caesar was chasing me. Huh? Right now, Familia was is taking care of me. Hmm, I see. You really are strange. Am I? Yeah, I mean, you lied about it at first because you wanted to hide it. But now you're spilling your guts to me. And I'm someone you've only just met. <laughs> <laughs> he has a point. He does. He really does. Alright, Jesus. Alright, Jesus, take the wheel. <clears throat> Alright, what are we rolling today? We rolled a one. I'll be careful from now on. I'll be more careful from now on. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. There aren't only good people in this world. 
Though, maybe that's weird for someone you've only just met to say. But I think you're a good person, Mr. Sun. Really? You really, really think that about me? Yes, you have been so kind that you're looking out for me. Now, we're acquaintances. Maybe it's a good thing that I ran into you. <laughs> maybe it was. Oh, look at the time. I should get going so I can get dinner ready. I should go home too. Goodbye, Mr. Sun. He gave her an enthusiastic nod and turned to leave Oz territory. However, he turned back around as if he just remembered something. Oh, also, could you please... Oh, wait, blah, blah, blah. Oh, also, could you stop calling me Mr. So? Then, what should I call you? Just so is fine. You don't have to be so polite either. I don't like formalities. I understand. You mean... Okay. Good, perfect! I set up shop here every Sunday. I'm already closed for the day, but come by next week if you want. Yeah, I will. You better, it's a promise, okay? Bye then, Sheena, I'll see you later! Dun, 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 dun. How many of these promises are we going to break? Oh, oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> That's always my thought process every time I go into a freaking oh, Otome game. That, How many that is of these a promises? True point. <laughs> Monday morning, the state was busier than it had been the day before. Mm. Sheena passed by the men heading out for the day as she made her way to the kitchen for breakfast. Good morning. She said softly to the empty room as she got herself some bread and milk. Taking a seat in the same chair she had the previous day, she started eating by herself. Yesterday was a day of peace. Which means that now there might be fights between the familia until next Sunday. When I meet Mr. Karimiya and the others, I did see a bunch of people with weapons. I wonder if they actually use them. Morning. Came here on your own today, huh? Mr. Karimiya! She looked up and shifted slightly to face him. It seemed he had come for breakfast as well. I assumed you would have been more shy since this mansion is full of men, but I guess not. I like how they continuously mention that. <laughs> like, <true>. okay. <laughs> Karimiya gently touched Sheena's shoulders before going over to the sink. Oh my god! This is fucking crap. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that! Me neither! <laughs> he plucked an orange from a basket of fruit and rinsed it off before taking a plate and knife out of the cabinet. I'm sorry, I just made myself at home. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> oh no, that's quite alright. I'm happy to see you're getting comfortable. He took a seat next to her, orange and plate in hand. As he cut into the fruit's skin, a citrusy scent filled the room. Good morning. How strong is that scent of orange? <laughs> yeah! Good morning, Mr. Axel. That must be one potent orange. Mm. Uh-huh. Axel glanced at Sheena, but that was it. Uh. Morning, sir, sleep a lot. Yo, that's me! <laughs> that's me! <laughs> Yo, me too! I do not <laughs> sleep a lot. Karamiya tossed the still unpeeled orange at Axel as he caught it. A few errant ar droplets of water splashed against his cheek. Eat it. I bought, I bought it at the market this morning. I'll have it later. Axel wiped the water off his face with the back of his hand as he returned to the orange to the, fr to the fruit basket. Crossing his arms, he leaned against the wall. But didn't okay, he already Mr. start Wolfgang. cutting that orange? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. When are you headed out? When I finish eating. Is there a reason I need to wait in here? There is. Join us at the table. Ugh. <laughs> he is back! He passed by both Sheena and Karmia, Karmia and set his hand on the back of the furthest chair away from them. Oi! <laughs> a little closer. 
Uh. <laughs> One chair. <laughs> Axel took a single step over, only to pull out the second further seat away. <laughs> No, no. The seats across from us are all open. Karumiya tapped the table in front of him. Ugh. Axel let out a big sigh and sat down directly across from Karumiya, diagonal to Sheena. Why are you so on guard around the signorina? Aw, he's shy boy. It's only natural to be on guard around an unfamiliar person. Well, I guess that's true. That said, I don't think she's going to bite. Chomp! Nom nom! <laughs> <laughs> We're living together, so we might as well relax around each other, right? Uh. Axel gave Sheena a sideways glance that lasted less than a single second. What am I going to do with you? Sorry, Sheena. He's a very guarded person by nature. Oh, then it's fine. He's right. You don't know anything about me. I understand how Axel feels. Senorina. You're much more mature about this than some people. Point, point. <laughs> 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 Axel rested his elbow on the table and gazed determinately at the wall. Mr. Karimia, um... Don't let him bother you, he's always like this. More importantly, we need to discuss our plans for the for the day. Plans for the day? Yeah, I was thinking Axel and I will show you around Oz territory. How does how's that sound? <laughs> da -da -da -dum, da -dum -dum. Now we go back to our and Jesus! We got a three. That sounds wonderful then, right? Yeah. That sounds wonderful. Good. We'll show you around this town we're so proud of. Right, Axel? Uh, yes, sir. Mr. Axel doesn't seem very enthusiastic about this. Just as that thought occurred to her, her eyes met Axel's. I follow my orders. Huh? If the Dawn ordered me to marry you, I would obey. Understand? Okay, <laughs> no, what, what, why are we jumping to marriage, sir? <laughs> oh my god, the shy boy! Oh my god, we jumped straight to marriage, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. Uh... Sheena gave a vague response, unable to discern Axel's intent. Karumiya leaned against the back of his chair and smiled as he watched their exchange. Why don't you... Why do you have to use such a roundabout expression to say, don't worry about me? Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. They're so silly. The area covered in red brick or our tent. Of course it would be red bricks. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> the main street in front of the mansion is obviously ours, but the rest of this area is too. All of this? Sheena stopped in the middle of the street and looked over her surroundings. The street was bustling, and the faces of the people coming and going were cheerful. There were no armed men to be seen anywhere. The atmosphere didn't feel very different from Sundays at all. Karumiya got closer to her as he returned the greetings of the townspeople. So, what do you think? I expected it to be scarier, like a fight could break out any moment. It's much more relaxed and peaceful than I'd imagine. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> really? He gave a boyish smile and patted her on the head. Yay, her thoughts. <laughs> ah. I'm happy to hear you say that. It's not like we carry weapons because we like using them. Our main job is to protect our territory from outsiders and to mediate fights. It's unlikely you'll be caught up in a fight without, within our territory, so don't worry your, yourself. Okay. 
Excuse me, sir. Regarding the wolf gang, your assertion that it is completely safe here is not entirely accurate. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Wolf gang? Caesar and the others, the men who Thank was chasing you, for the stretch you, and hydrate. Signorina. Oh, <sighs> right. Blurp. I completely forgot about Mr. Caesar. <laughs> oh, I... Damn, he tried to kill you and you completely yeah. forgot about him. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> From what Kiri yeah. tells me, they live in the forest outside the town walls. They are a troublesome oh, yeah. bunch who invade other territories. All the family are plagued by them. We all have to be on the lookout for another attack. Okay. Karamiya made a satisfied nod and held his hand out to Axel. Axel, do you have any change on you? <laughs> Hold on, mate. <am> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Axel groped around at his pockets. After counting out the coins he found, he handed them to Karamiya. Grazie. Sheena, <laughs> let's get something to eat. Axel's treating. Oi! <laughs> what? He's just like, oh, my wallet! <laughs> Dad, I just took your money, how do you feel? Oh, <laughs> uh, here's the dawn. <laughs> Is that okay? Oh my god. It's fine, it's fine, isn't it, Axel? Uh, if the dawn buys something for me, too. <laughs> Alright, it's settled. Man, all guy. I had this morning was an orange. I'm already starving. Oh my god! Why are you already starving? <laughs> <laughs> There's a great hot dog stand over there. Let's go, Sheena. Wieners! <laughs> <laughs> Axel frowned as he watched over Katamiya and Sheena from behind while they walked down the street lined with food stands. Isn't your empty stomach your own responsibility? Why do I have to pay for your food? <laughs> Axel, we're going to leave you behind. Ugh, I'm coming. <laughs> this poor man. We got being bullied. <laughs> My god. He's like, do you have any change? Oh, yoink! He's treating! <laughs> <laughs> there, little clothing. There's a little clothing boutique at the end of the street. Karamiya pointed down an alley with a hand still greasy from his hot tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Just around the corner is a general store, and beyond that is a bookstore. You can buy almost anything within Oz territory, so I don't think you'll be uncomfortable here. In the center of the town is Ta Tower Plaza. You can see the tower from any parts of town. It's a good landmark. It's a wall. <laughs> what a nice looking wall. <laughs> Karamiya put one hand on the tower wall and looked up. Sheena followed suit and looked up too. The tower stretched so high into the sky that its top was hidden in the clouds. What's a big tower? Indeed. Not even Mr. Know-it-all Kitty knows what it is exactly. It's a mystery. A, a king, king lives in it. A what? king lives in what? it. What? A king? She turned to face Axel behind her, but he only stepped forward and placed his hand on the tower just as Karamiya had. I've heard that the king of this world lives at the top of the tower. Oz, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> what? You actually believe the legend, Axel? Is there something wrong with that? Nah, it's a good dream. It's good to dream. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it said. Anyway, what legend? Supposedly, anyone who reaches the top floor meets the king. And meets the king will have any wish granted. Wish? Yeah, but no one knows how to meet the king. 
We climb it! <laughs> we rock climb it! <laughs> there are no doors to the tower. Only the names of those fam family that can tr fami fam family family <laughs> <laughs> of those famil family that control the town and some rectangular slots. Rectangular slots! The slots Axel had mentioned were far beyond Sheena's reach. The names of the family family were carved beneath the niches. I don't know if the legend is true or not, but this tower does serve as a major Thank landmark. Thank you for following Anime Fan Club 1. Karamiya pulled Sheena close to him. He leaned forward to match her eye level and pointed at the street they'd walked along to get there. If you ever get lost, as long as you can use the tower to find your way back to this plaza, you can get back to the mansion. You can see it from here. Just follow the red brick road to get back. Simple, right? It is. This plaza is the heart of the town. This plaza in the heart of, the, of town is a common space, not controlled by any one familiar. If you need to go into another territory, it's probably best to go through this area. There's nowhere to hide here, so it's symbolic for saying you have no ill intent. Have you ever been to the other family areas? Oh, of course. It depends on who we're talking about, but it's not like all our relationships are stormy ones. I visit other territories to go shopping or talk to people, though I guess it's pretty rare for me to leave Oz territory. Naturally, your movements draw suspicion. That's one of the downsides of being the Don. Hedy has a hello big from Australia. dairy Ooh. farm. The hello, cheese hello. they make is just superb. I uh, know I'll have Axel. I know I'll have Axel borrow this. <laughs> this poor man. <laughs> Why me, sir? Isn't that abuse and power? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Red. The person Axel had spotted in the crowd was Scarlet. The can't comport I just say Camporajme. Camporajme of Familia Grimm. Scarlet's <laughs> red go. mantle flutter, fl fluttered as Karamiya spoke. Mr. Karamiya, on patrol? Well, that's part of it, but we're mostly showing the oh God, arena around our territory. You were. Hello, Scarlet. Oh. Scarlet glanced at Sheena before looking up at Katamiya. Have you already explained the rules to her? I'm in the process of doing that right now. Oh, well, that's good. Scarlet looked at Sheena again. You will not be harmed as long as you don't break the rules, but if you do break them, there will be no mercy. Don't you forget it. Uh, of course. Scarlet gave them each a small nod before turning around to leave. The rifle on Scarlet's back swayed a bit with each step. Scarlet's pretty scary. Yeah, right. That's nothing. Scarlet is probably the most level-headed of the members of Familia Grimm. The twins are much crueler. Who are the twins again? Oh. I'm gonna two. stop a grenade down you! <laughs> that one. <laughs> those two. I see. And the guy was, yeah. and the boy was like, yeah, do it! And she's just like, I'm gonna <laughs> shove the grenade. <laughs> yeah, Hansel and Gretel can be pretty reckless. Mind that you can't mind that you don't end up in a fight with those two. I I will. 
Ugh. Suddenly, Sheena realized Axel had been staring at her. What's wrong, Mr. Axel? You should be safe as long as you stay inside Oz territory. Huh? I'm trying to say that you should be safe, so there's no need to be scared. Huh? Ah! <laughs> Boy. Uh, uh, okay. Are you trying to tell her that you'll protect her? Trying to sound oh. cool, huh? <laughs> uh, I am not. I just mean that the Familia is always guarding our own territory, so... Why don't you put to the Familia too, Axel? <laughs> uh, we finished the tour of our territory already. I will return to my usual duties. He's running away! Uh, he's running. <laughs> That's so cute! Axel. They are cute! What the? Ah, I want to take them home. <laughs> One way to put it. <laughs> he just ran off because he was embarrassed. He's like, well, shall we walk around a little? <laughs> <laughs> well, shall we walk around a little more? There's this great ice cream place nearby. I'll take you there. Ooh, ice cream. Okay. Ice cream. I love the artwork that they did for whenever he turns his he head around like that yeah. with his smile. It's so cute. Oh, look, we have a lot of options now. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, hello, hello. I, I don't know how, how to make a decision here. Hi, people. Do, I guess just choose whichever character is tickling your fancy. Oh, can I? <laughs> okay, you know, I, I'm, I'm just gonna go use the restroom real fast. <laughs> help you back. All the boys are cute. Me likey. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> I likey, me likey. <laughs> so cute. Two hours. Humma humma. Eh? We're already at two hours. Oh yeah, we are. Hey. Do you have to go anytime soon? Um, no. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so my chat decided oh? to suggest Axel. Ooh. <laughs> If you want, I am perfectly okay with going with Axel. Sure! <laughs> I'm down. So, do we click him? <laughs> yeah. <Boop. laughs> I'm down. He's cute. He's being so cute with his daddy. Axel is cute. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Maybe I should go out into town today. Goes my feet. <laughs> oh, Mr. Axel. Are you going out too? If you are. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Me? Yes. I'm Axel. So sick. You're so cute! <laughs> oh, <Hey. my> <laughs> 
Okay. I think I'm good now. <laughs> Maybe it I'm not. Well. I'm just here like, fuck. <laughs> yes. Axel spoke between sighs. The Dawn has asked me to chaperone you until you become more accustomed to the town. If you're going out, I will follow you. Let's go, guest. Guest! Please wait! Let's go, guest! <laughs> I don't want you to call those guests. <laughs> There's so many people out today. Mm. Axel gave no hint of a reaction as he walked behind her. Maybe I'm getting used to him not answering me. That made her a bit sad, but for some reason, she felt it was easier to accept if she assumed that he was just the kind of person he was. Huh? She stopped abruptly. There's a side street here. Mr. Axel, where does this lead? Oh. Instead of answering her, Axel pulled a piece of paper from his pocket and handed it to her. This is... A map of our territory. The information you are looking for is on it. Thank you very much. Um... It's a by road, I see. Mm. I... I see. Mm-hmm. Oh, definitely not getting used to it. The silence is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> and then over here, I'm just making sounds for him like... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The people uh -huh. walking the streets were chatting happily, but between the two of them, there was no conversation to speak of. I can't just wait for him to say something. I have to make an effort. Or oh, you can just walk silently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what to talk about? Mr. Axel, are you not very busy? <laughs> Excuse me? Well, you came out with me, even though we didn't make plans in advance. I figured you must have a lot to free time, um... So... <laughs> with each word that came out of her mouth, another wrinkle appeared on Axel's forehead. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, I'm only accompanying you because I was told to prioritize protecting you. I have plenty of other work to do. Uh, oh, okay. Must be pretty hard having to take care of me in addition to all your regular work, huh? It wouldn't be. Like how there's a random <laughs> slash. <laughs> oh my god, that's chill. I'm double checking. Oh my god, why? <laughs> it's like the hose going ha with his hand. It's like instead of typing, instead of hitting period, they hit the slash yeah, right next happened? to it. <laughs> that's a typo. It wouldn't be difficult at all if you would just stay in your room. S sorry You say you're sorry, but you're not making any attempt to return to the mansion. Oh no, I think I made him mad again. As much as she wanted to befriend him, the distance between them only seemed to be widening. She sighed to herself and turned around to head back. Okay, let's go back to the mansion then. It's fine. I don't mind continuing like this. Oh my god, make up your fucking no. <laughs> <laughs> But Mr. Axel, being stuck with me is no fun, right? My feelings are irrelevant. I don't have the authority to restrict your actions. It's my duty to follow you where you want to go. Duty. Oh! Um. <laughs> Okay, Aryan Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> take the wheel! Give me a second. Well, what does Aryan Jesus? It tells us the first choice. That's a good choice. That's... I want you to have fun too, Mr. Axel. Eh, I totally didn't do that. <laughs> 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 It's Sunday, and Sunday is a special day in this town, right? It's already Sunday? What the fuck? What? Time skip! Oh. <clears throat> That's why I think you should be having fun too, Mr. Axel. Not just me. Hmm. At least, that's how I feel. She shrank back as he turned his sharp gaze toward her. 
Don't worry about me. Just spend your time as you see fit. But... I said it was fine. Are you trying to upset me? Of course not. Then don't worry about it. Just pretend I'm not even here. Let's go. Ah! Mr. Elsa. <laughs> oh, the awkward boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry for making you come out with me on your precious Sunday. It's Sunday again? Oh no, I'm happy you invited me. I guess it is another Sunday. <laughs> We're skipping like every freaking week. Yeah! Mr. Curie, you're really busy on weekdays, aren't you? Well, I'm not so busy that I'm about to kneel over. Of course, it's not like you're completely unrelated to how busy I am. I have to stifle my own interests and do my job. You understand, don't you? Y yes Good. It's already been three weeks since we met. How are you finding your stay? Oh my god, it's been three weeks. <laughs> it's been three weeks, I skip. Uh, okay, Iron Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> take the wheel! We got three. It's fun? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Every day is full of surprises. There's lots of fun. I see, you really are a strange one. Am I? You are. Shouldn't you be afraid of the unknown? Shouldn't the people, things, and culture around you that you have no memory of terrify you? Um... I tried thinking about it, but I don't think it's scary. Encountering unfamiliar things makes my heart pound. It's a lovely feeling. Every day is full of wonders. But I guess that might seem strange to you, Mr. Kitty. Indeed it does, but... It's also quite charming. She stiffened as he touched his hand to her cheek. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> She's Mr. Stiff K? Yes, what is it? <clears throat> well, what is it? I mean, your hand. Oh, you'd rather I do- <clears throat> Why? <laughs> Oh, you'd rather I touched you barehanded. Very well. I need an adult. <laughs> I need an adult! <laughs> Kitty brought his hand to his mouth and pulled off his glove with his teeth! Police! 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 Put off with his mouth? Are you kidding me? <laughs> he took the glove off with his mouth. Oh my god, we need the popo! <laughs> I I didn't mean it like that. Oh, so touching him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, so touching isn't enough. What an audacious request to make in such a public place in the middle of the day. Excuse me, sir. No. What? <laughs> no. no. Why? Is I don't know why. <laughs> Kitty reminds me of Diabolical Lovers too much. <laughs> oh, what was his face? The one who always calls her Bitch Chan, right? Yeah, which okay, which one was <laughs> that again? Oh, I remember it was um the Lito guy, right? Lito, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Yo, he kind of even looks like him with the hat and stuff. Yeah, and the hair because style. Like the freaking wears yeah. the fedora. Yeah, oh it just gets rid of the hairstyle too. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> we're, we're making connections. Oh we're my god. <laughs> it sounds like the more the she spoke, the more he misunderstood. How, how should I explain this? He smiled at her, who was visibly at a complete loss. Don't worry, I know exactly what you meant. Huh? I'm actually pretty sharp when it comes to conversation. I just wanted to mess with you. Mess with me? You see, I just can't help teasing girls I like, and even those I don't. That was just a little taste just now. You should prepare yourself. Oh my god. 
Uh, okay. <laughs> well, enough this of this dude. idle chit chat. Shall we be going? Where are we going? Let's keep that a surprise. My god, this guy! Oh <laughs> Get a fly swatter! <laughs> smack, smack, smack! This place. Been here before? No, never. I had no idea this place existed. How unkind of Katamia and Axel to only give you bits and pieces of information. This is Oscar Wilde Street. Like the main plaza and the clinic, it is, un it is an unafflicted area you're free to come here. However, the members of the Familia Oz tend to avoid it. Why? Good question. Perhaps because it's a place for adult socialization. Oh no. Oh my god, <laughs> get it! Adult? That building over there is a church. It's not locked, so you can confess your sins whenever you feel so inclined. And this... Eh, the name. Good afternoon, Lord K. The name? <laughs> Why is he called Man Boy? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, did you come out just to see us? I just happened to see you out here. Is this woman the one you spoke of before? Indeed she is. I would feel just awful if I didn't show her around every corner of town. Well, I do not believe she needs to know absolutely everything. Particularly this area. Oh my god, Kitty, what have you been getting us into? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> I must apologize. Apologizing for taking so long to introduce myself. I am Monboy, the Oscar Wilde Salon's con. They like that word, huh? I, I guess so. I'm Sheena. Amelia Oz has been taking care of me. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh no, the pleasure is all mine, Lady Sheena. Salon, huh? I have not said anything false. Yes, that is true. Let's leave it at that. What is this place? I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Sheena looked back and forth between their contrary expressions. Kitty smiled at her confusion countenance. Manboy here is a very is very well acquainted with this particular area. If you want to know anything, you should ask him. Lord Kitty. I thought you hadn't said anything false. Yes, that is true. Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> well, you're just showing her around today. I can't imagine you would be bringing Lady Shina along with you inside. Oh no, it's much too soon for her. Oh my god. Soon? What do you mean? Good question. What do you think, man boy? Uh, well... Oh god. I'm here. Mr. Axel! She turned around as Axel approached. He seemed to be in quite a sour mood. Shotgun in hand! <laughs> what? Uh oh. Oh, are you sure you're not early? Don't be ridiculous. I'm right on time. May I bring the house guest back home? Yes, that will do. Why do you have a shotgun? <laughs> Excuse me, Machina. I have some work to attend to at the salon right now. Even though it's Sunday. Yes, no rest for the cons... Consiglary. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. After all. Liar. Did you say something, Axel? No. Let's go guest. Axel started walking without waiting for her to respond. Okay. She paused to turn around and wave before she hurried after Axel. Goodbye, Mr. K, Mr. Monboy. It's playing ominous music, too. I know, it's so scary here. <laughs> what is this place? Kitty gave her a little wave, keeping his hand close to his chest. Manboy sighed and began to speak. I think I have a feeling I know. What are you thinking, bringing a girl at that age to a place like this? And I could ask you what you're thinking, speaking ill of your workplace like that. She might even end up becoming a customer, you know. Oh my god. My word, you intend to bring her a gun? Oh no, I'll let her curiosity take care of that. 
Miss Sheena is an irregular presence, so I can't even begin to imagine what future she will choose. Look forward to it, man boy. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, can't he say so evil? I wonder where we're going. If they were returning to the Oz Mansion, surely they would have just taken the red brick road. Yet the road they are walking... Yet the road they walk... That doesn't seem right. Yet the road they're walking along was paved with bricks of emerald, not red. Mr. Action sure walks fast. He smoothly slipped through the crowds, not paying any mind to her chasing after him. They'll be separated at this rate. Excuse me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Mr. Axel, please wait. <laughs> she smacked into Axel's back. She looked up at him, pouting as she clutched her nose. What? That's my line. Why did you stop so suddenly? Weren't you the one who asked me to wait? I did say that. Thank you for listening to me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this guy. <laughs> Axel's gaze shifted from Sheena to his right hand. He didn't say a word, he just stared at it. Yeah, grab her arm and, and like, drag her so that she doesn't get lost. Yeah, what Like, lost hand? child. <laughs> yeah! What's wrong? Nothing. I can hear your footsteps. I won't leave you behind. Let's go. Uh, okay. Oh man. <laughs> Hand holding avoided. Chi chi chi! Oh, it kind of seems like he slowed down a little. Oh, what a nice dude. Ah, huge. It's Mister Axel trying to match my pace. Adorable. That's so cute. <laughs> Put him in the pocket. At the end of the Emerald Brick Road was a street not unlike those in the Oz territory. The houses had gently curved roofs. The smell of baked sweets hung in the air. Ooh, pastries. Are we going to a bakery? Oh, I'd, I'd want some of that. I'm sure this must be another of the earliest territory, but... It's Sunday, so it must be okay to be here, right? Found it. Huh? There's two way. Get your double trouble biscuits while they're hot. Hansel was standing in the middle of the street, energetically peddling his wares. An orange carpet, casually covered with bags of baked sweets, was spread out at one, one corner of the street. Behind the sack sat Gretel, who, unlike Hansel, had a sour, decidedly unwelcoming, uh, decidedly unwelcoming expression, unbecoming of a salesperson on her face. They're the Grim Familias, Camp Porty, Dan, thing. They're the <laughs> Grim Familias. Good, good enough. Good enough. Things. <laughs> Hansel and Gretel. Do you remember them? Yes, I left the names at the meeting. Hmm. Axel nodded slightly and approached Hansel. Sheena followed. Oh, if it isn't Axel. <laughs> Gretel hastily <laughs> stood up and hurried behind Hansel, clinging to his back. Maybe she has a, like a, a secret crush on him. Maybe. Or she's scared of him with a shotgun. Not sure oh, if he's still holding it. that. <laughs> she glared at Axel and Sheena from behind her fellow pursed thing. Oh, she's glaring. I don't think she likes him. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want, robot? My name is Axel. <laughs> oh, trust me, robot. I know. Why did you come here with that little girl? L little girl? Hansel isn't this girl, the one who was sitting between Sleepyhead and the trickster. 
<laughs> what? That's the one, Gretel. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the craziness, I feel it. Well, if it isn't the little girl... If it isn't the little girl, what do you want with us Grimms? Itching for a fight? I'll take you up on that if we want. If it was a fight they went after, they'd come with more people, right? Which means... It's an ambush. No. No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I know, a date then. N no Then it's an ambush, clearly. Hansel, prepare to counterattack. <laughs> the face is <laughs> oh my god! Even Hansel's face! Let us sort it. I are we gonna blow him up? Hansel, Gretel, put your weapons away. Scarlet. Look, they're obviously harmless. It's hard to imagine they were trying to start something. Are you sure those eyes aren't just for show? Robot here is carrying a gun. I'm only following familiar rules to be armed at all times. I mean, the two of you always have dynamite and grenades on you, right? That and it's Sunday. We all have to adhere to the compromise, right? That thing is so dumb that we should just break it right now. Gretel. <laughs> Alright <laughs> then. If you're not here for a day to an attack, then what is it? To buy sweets. So that's it. Oh my god, so much who... for just sweets. I wonder who we're going we're doing this errand for. Well, she is. Huh? I am? You are, aren't you? She stopped talking as Axel gave her a meaningful look. Meaningful. He must have his reasons. Playing along, she nodded in agreement. Oh, really? Well, thanks for shopping with us. They all cost the same, so pick whatever catches your fancy. Uh, okay. What should I pick? She crouched down in front of the sweets, clutching her knees as she tried to make a decision. Third from the right. Huh? While she hadn't been paying attention, Axel had crouched down beside her. He'd whispered in her ear quietly so that only she could hear him. Third from the right. Third from the right. Third from the right was six chocolate chip cookies in a clear bag tied up with a blue ribbon. Which one do you want? Um, how about this one? Hmm. Gretel wrapped the bag of cookies in paper before handing it to Hansel. Alrighty, thanks for shopping with us. I'll pay. Hansel held out his Your hand thing, expectantly. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! The face again. Is just not today. <laughs> it's not the good, it's the face again. Oh my again. god. You know, his face, a little face that he makes, is, I find that fun funnier. Oh my god. No, we're just shopping. <laughs> Alright, if you say so. <laughs> Deliciousness guaranteed. All your money back. Let me know what you think about the next time you come by, if you feel like it. Oh, certainly. Sheena reached out to take the bag of sweets. Before she could pull away, Hansel grabbed her hand. So I'm curious, can you actually speak for yourself without being prompted? Of course I can, Mr. Hansel. Then just be yourself with me, okay? Also, I'd appreciate it if you didn't call me Mr. Hansel. It just doesn't feel r right. Then, how about just Hansel? Yeah, perfect. What are you doing, Hansel? Isn't this little girl the Oz's... 
I know, but they're just taking care of her. She's not actually part of their familia. Nothing wrong with being a little friendly, right, Scarlet? Yes, within reason. Yay! What are you so excited about? What are you gonna do if they win her over? You're such an idiot, Hansel. Aren't you happy, Greta? You made a girlfriend. I have no intention of ever making friends. Greta and Scarlet are happy to meet you too, Sheena. Baby. <laughs> Sheena, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Sheena squeezed his hand back. Unlike Hansel, Gretel's gaze was icy cold. We're done here. Let's go. Whoops. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait. What? I'll escort you out of our territory. You will? Yeah, Gretel isn't particularly fond of you two. I'll make sure she doesn't try anything. <laughs> I love her. We don't need an escort. I'll keep my distance, don't worry. Scarlet walked over to one of the houses and began clam clambering up a drain pipe. What? Okay, goodbye, you're on the roof. In the blink of an eye, Scarlet was on the roof looking down at Axel and Sheena. <laughs> Never listens. Let's go, guest. Okay. <laughs> bye bye, Sheena, baby. <laughs> I can't. Oh I my can't. god, that guy. I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> Goodbye, Hansa. Greta. He could have been worse. He could have team posed out of there. Oh my god. <laughs> How dare that little girl give me a nickname? Is it that nice, Gretel? It is not. It's not nice to be treated like you're less significant than a grain of sand. Just what is that little girl plotting? <laughs> she's so sus. <laughs> and she's like also got the bobs. It feels a little strange to be walking side by side with Mr. Axel. Mr. Axel, are you intentionally slowing yourself down? Yeah. Thank you. Don't get the wrong idea. I'm not doing it as a favor. Huh? I don't want the other side to see what you're doing. Other side? Oh, you mean Scarlet? Famili Familia Grimm's thing. Scarlet was walking along the rooftops, keeping a fixed distance from Sheena and Axel. I just replaced it with Thing. <laughs> it's so yes. much easier. It's pretty amazing that Scarlet can walk like that while keeping an eye on us. I'm keeping you from view. Don't go out of your way to make yourself visible. Is it bad if I'm seen? It doesn't feel very good to have someone watching your every move, does it? I'm sorry. I know what he said. Maybe he really is doing it to be nice to me. Mr. Axel might be a Santa's really kind person too? after all. Yeah, he's just a We son. need it for the litter boxes. <laughs> True! Tell that to Anakin. Hey! <laughs> also, I will... Hi, hi, hi! How's Mafia? It's an Otome game. Why are you smiling? I was just thinking that you're a really nice person, Mr. Axel. Uh. Is Mr. he gonna blush? Blush, blush? N nothing. You inter <laughs> you interrupted my train of thought with your strange comment. Strange? Was there something strange about what I said? Uh. He stopped talking. Maybe I said something I shouldn't have. Nah, nah, you're good. <laughs> <She's adorable. laughs> she cocked her head so to the cute. side, puzzled, but she couldn't figure out what she'd done wrong. It feels like such a waste to go home in silence. She looked around, trying to find a new conversation topic. Oh, that's right. Dun -dun. 
This m did Mr. Karamiya yes. ask you to get these cookies? Uh. Is it Mr. Kitty? I'm not obligated to tell you. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> I'm no good at this. I just keep defending Mr. Axel. They're delicious. Huh? Those cookies are delicious. Aww. I'll let you have one. <laughs> oh my god, it's so They were better! <laughs> this one. Uh, oh my god, it's so cute! Those babies are... Mm. He's like, no comment! He looked away and Sheena bit her tongue. Why would I bite her tongue? He told me Mr. Axel <laughs> wanted to eat them himself. Suddenly, oh those simple cookies... <laughs> He's so cute! Suddenly, those simple cookies seemed unusually special to her. Ooh. Guest. Y yes Would you mind accompanying me on a slight detour? A detour? Hi, you! Hi, Lily! Wait a second. Hi, Praise! This place looks familiar. It's time uh -oh. to fangirl. <laughs> Yes, I have been fangirling. <laughs> Thank you! For the tier one. Um, let's see. Hi, hi, hi! Yes, tsundere. Thank you for following. Joe the Tyrannid? 69. Yes, I love Otome games. Yeah, you changed your name. What was your name before? Yeah, it's been a while. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. Mm. They made their way back to blah, blah, blah. They made their way to a back alley bordered by Grim Street on one side and Oscar Wilde Street on the other. By the time they got there, the sky was already dyed a deep crimson. That doesn't seem good. Scarlet had vanished without a trace. All they could hear was the sound of their footsteps. We're here. This is it. I'm sure this is where I first woke up. I first awoke. Hmm. He told me to take him to the place where I first remember waking up. Axel just stared at the ground in silence. Hmm. Is that Sonia? Hmm. You really don't remember anything before that? His words following the long silence made her blink. When I returned from my patrols, you were lying on the couch. That's how we met. Your situation was explained to me, but I just couldn't accept it. Do you really not have any memories before then? Yes, yeah. Hmm. I understand that you're not a member of another familia, but I still... What the heck? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, <laughs> Nya! There was a sudden explosion. A shockwave erupted behind the... And I got hit in the head! <laughs> the throwing system. There was a sudden explosion. A shockwave erupted behind them, strong enough to make their hair fly back and pin their clothes to their bodies. <laughs> what was that? Several figures were outlined in the white smoke. A familiar man stepped out from among them. Uh-oh. Is it Caesar Salad, yeah? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Caesar Salad. <laughs> oh, thank you, Praise. Oh my god, it's Caesar Salad. Oh my god. <laughs> Greetings again, my prey. Mr. Caesar, yeah. <laughs> so you remember my name. Caesar snorted and unfastened another sword. You fastened those to yourself? I'm fastened, sword, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> that is yeah. Oh, there's the sound, yeah. Yeah. No, I totally get it. He switched from wielding a single longsword to dual blades, pointing them both at Sheena. Today you're mine. You'll have to go through me first. Axel raised his shotgun and moved between <laughs> them to protect her. You're outnumbered. Please. You should have run away when you had the chance. Kill him. At Caesar's command, the other men charged forward. Oh, holy smokes! Jesus, look, Christ, I was not <laughs> expecting an actual sound effect. Right? 
<laughs> oh, fuck you. Axel snapped his gun into a fiery position and pulled the trigger. <laughs> what are those sounds? He missed the man he'd been aiming for, but the blast chopped into the support of a nearby awning. Within seconds, it had collapsed into the alleyway, briefly stalling their attacker's advance. Sometimes my poor aim comes in handy. Go back to the mansion, guest. What is that, Sonia? I'll hold them off. But, you yeah. Just go! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're ready for what's coming your way. Hold on. Hold on! Nice shot! I'm always ready. What the heck, this is my job, after all. Bam! <laughs> Beautiful. Take a look for me, He has to make money back somehow. Exactly, Nya. Yeah. Once I get back to the plaza, Nya, yeah. I just need to follow the red brick road, Nya. Yeah. Sheena was running just like she had on that fateful day, fleeing the exact same man from the exact same place. But unlike that fateful day, now she was familiar with the streets and people she passed. Even if she'd stayed, there was nothing she could have done in that situation. She would have only made things harder for Axel. I have to tell someone, yeah. I have to let them know, and soon, yeah. <laughs> sure, Mr. Karamiya and the others will be able to do something, yeah. Oh, hi! How, what a coincidence! You speak of the devil and he yeah. does yeah. Oh, Sinorina. Why are you in such a hurry, yeah? Mr. Karamianya! Mr. Kirinya! <laughs> uh, um... Help me, yeah. <laughs> ha, ah, They got it on the head! Right on the I nose. like how they just ran away! Yeah. What the fuck? What's wrong? Is... Miss, is Caesar chasing you again, yeah? He's not chasing me, yeah! But Mr. Axel, yeah! Mr. Caesar is after Mr. Axel. Well, yeah. not really. He was just in the way. So he's like, oh, yeah. so we're like, we're fighting then. Yeah. So that gunshot earlier was Axel. Yeah. Yes, yeah. He said he held them off so I could get away, yeah. He's such a troublemaker, yeah. That he is. Well, let's return to the mansion like we planned. Y you're going back, yeah. What about Mr. Axel, yeah? Leave him, he'll manage on his own. But, but, Nya, he was outnumbering you. If we don't hurry, he'll, Nya. Really, now, he must be putting up a good fight if you got this far without injury. That's really all that matters. Putting up a good fight, Nya. A thing is nothing more than a sacrificial pawn, after all. <laughs> I Mr. give up with Kadamia, that word. Nya. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm down, okay. I'm sorry, Sinorina, but I agree with Kirin, yeah. I'll send some scouts out, yeah, so please come back to the house with us, yeah. <gasps> Bruh, they only view of him as a pawn. Oh Holy my god! Oh, I guess that's why they took his lunch money! <laughs> it would be nice if you would just stay in the forest like a good little feral wolf. They were in the office in the back of the mansion. They'd spread a map on on the map. They spread a map out on top of the big table in the center of the room. Sheena and Kitty were sitting across the table from Karamia. Karam. The scouts are reporting that they couldn't find Axel in the alley. Yeah. Oh no, Nya. Was he kidnapped, Nya? Yes, yes they, they probably pro took him into the forest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see the forest. As you can see from the map, the town is encircled by the wall, Nya. The people who live in the forest outside the wall are the Wolf King, Nya. If they kidnapped him, Nya, they probably take him to the forest or the slums. I think that says slums. Yeah, it said slums. <laughs> the slums, yeah. 
Not everyone living in this town accepts the rule of the familiar. It's this gray district here, created by those who despise the ruling class. Right now, it's a perfect breeding ground for criminals. The rebel fam family aren't the only ones we have conflicts with. We have more skirmishes with residents of the slums than anyone else. Caesar's group, the Wolf Gang, is a group of anarchists composed of people who left out of distaste for the town itself. That said, it's still not clear exactly where Caesar himself came from. Considering where Caesar tends to operate, the forest seems like the most likely option. That's assuming that Axel isn't sleeping with the fishes already. Sleeping? Don't be so vulgar around the Signorina. All right, maybe we should get something to eat. Karamiya rolled up the map and put it back down on the table before standing and stretching. They're just going off to dinner. Yeah, they're just like, ah, oh, whatever. Bro! <laughs> Let's just go eat. What would you like for dinner, Signorina? I want carbonara. Are you a signorina? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? I actually like carbonara. It's good. Mm. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the lurk. <laughs> Sheena was deeply confused by how normal the two of them were acting. Uh, um, what are we going to do if I'm a saxo? Nothing. Huh? Did you not hear me? I said we're not doing anything. But isn't he an important part of the familia? Yes, he is familiar Oz's thing, and protecting you, one of our guests, is an important part of his job. But these are separate issues. Do you feel the same way, Mr. Karimia? Damn! Damn! They really are just... Holy shit! Poor Axel! What the we're hell? We're the poor baby! Yes. Well, we're taking him home with us. Kidnap him. Yeah, Take we're, him we're kidnapping him. We're gonna give you a better life, son! Axel's situation is a familiar problem. There's no need for you to worry about it or get involved, Sinorina. Forget no! about him for now. I at refuse. Least at least they said for now. For now, yeah. Rather than just but damn. saying forget about him. Yeah. How could I? Uh, um, I think I'm going back to my room. What about dinner? I'm not hungry. Alright then. I'll save a portion for you, so please eat whenever your appetite returns. Uh, uh, uh. Her stomach grumbled the moment she made it back to her realm. I guess this is what they call playing the mar mar martyr? <laughs> <laughs> They're using some um, uncommon <laughs> words in this. They are, it's so mean. Yeah, if you I left them at a turn fight. like this, I you'd be worried. Just... Mm, I just can't forget about Miss Axel. Hi, Yuni! She took off her shoes and lay on the bed. Hmm? Feel... Wait, what? What if he's in there? She feels something underneath. <laughs> Feeling okay. something underneath her, she sat back up. What if he's there? What if he's there? Well, that would be funny. Oh. Never mind. Oh, is that says cookies? Oh, it's the cookies that he wanted to eat. <laughs> no, not the cookies! Him not, him. not the cookies! She'd forgotten she had them. Not the cookies! Both the wrapping and the cookies inside had been crushed. I bet Miss Axe was hungry. Why did Mr. Karamiya and Mr. 
Kitty talk about Miss Asa like that. She was perplexed and saddened by... <laughs> She was perplexed and saddened by how they were so much colder and less kind to him than they were to her. That's true. Not the cookies. Yeah, why were they they're acting like he's a nobody compared to yeah. like some stranger that just pops up? He's like, like she's the most important person yeah, ever. Yeah, they said he was a disposable pawn. Uh, that's sad. If only I had been there, then Mr. Axel wouldn't be. She gulped as a vortex of guilt engulfed her. Mr. Caesar is chasing me after all. Somebody said it's because she's hot and a chick and he's a dude and an asshole? What? He's not an asshole. Axel's not the asshole. Axel is just a sweet tsundere boy. He's just a son. Yeah, tsun tsun. I wonder if I could say- Oh, no. Ma'am. I don't think so. No. I don't know. That I don't think that be kind worse. Of works. <laughs> I think that's gonna make it worse. Ah. I wonder if I can save this to Axel if I go to Mr. Caesar's car. I can't. I can't believe this. Uh -oh, She's just. Oh, don't do it, girl. She shook her head, trying to shed her anxiety that Axel might already be. If I can save Mr. Axel, oh my God! No, don't do it. But I should go find Mr. Caesar. Oh no, no! Here's the here's the dumb decision. Here's the dumb MC decision. And already. she made a smart one than most of the protagonists in Otome games, where there's trouble. You get she ran to make because she would be in the way if she stayed. Yeah, but now she's doing yeah. a dumb choice. <laughs> and at night, sneaking out of the mansion was even easier than Sheena had thought it would be. Maybe it was because it was Sunday evening, but the town was just as busy now as it had been earlier in the day. Okay, at least there's people around, but it's night time! If I remember correctly, to get outside, it was right... It was right once I get off of the street. She put her hand on the tower and remembered the map as she looked around. Right, this way. How do you remember this? I would have been lost. Yeah! I would have just been like, I'm gonna look for the wall and see if I can climb it. <laughs> I barely got out of town. She made quite a few wrong turns, but she eventually found her way past the walls. She wondered if everyone lived inside the walls. Even though the town had been so crowded, the area around her was completely deserted. That's the forest Mr. Kuramiya and Mr. Kitty mentioned. She took one of the two streets leading out of town. Once she got over a small hill, she could see a thick patch of forest. She was all alone and going to an unfamiliar place. She'd been she'd be lying if she said she wasn't afraid. You can do this, Sheena. She made a fist and cheered herself on. With the breeze from the hill playing with her hair, she began to make her way into the forest. Oh no, this is such a bad idea. I don't like this. She doesn't even have a weapon! The moonlight she'd been the moonlight she'd been relying on earlier was now obstructed by the treetops. The leaves of the trees were in constant motion. Was it the was it the work of the of beasts or just the wind playing tricks on her? Sheena made her way further into the forest as her eyes acclimated to the darkness. It turned out that even though the canopy, the faint even through the canopy, the faint moonlit the moonlight was still enough to light the way. I can see lamplight, and I can hear voices. She didn't know who the voices belonged to. It sounded like several men. Hey, you! Huh? She turned around, startled by the voice behind her. Oh, hi. This guy don't look friendly. No, he doesn't. Uh oh. You're the woman our leader has been looking for, ain't ya? Leader? Do you mean Mr. Caesar? I, I came to. I came to surrender myself to Mr. Caesar. Oh my god! Oh no! I, girl, I want to save Mr. Axel and. and. Oh 
no. This is such oh, a bad idea. My good protagonist, stupid idea. Ah! Ah, I hate it. I hate it. Anyway. Oh, really? A vulgar smile appeared on the man's face as he grabbed Sheena's arm. He dragged her toward the lamplight. She was terrified and wanted to run, but the grip on her arm was so strong that she couldn't get away. Hey, y'all. The prey got caught. <laughs> About ten men were sitting around the roaring fire. Instantly, they stopped their drinking and merrymaking to stare at Sheena. Now that's interesting. Better tell Mr. Caesar right away. He said he'd be out until morning. Oh, yeah? I thought there was something like that. Then how about we get a taste before- mm! How about we get a taste before we hand her over to Mr. Caesar? <gasps> oh, <laughs> my lordy! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, lordy. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, my. Cut it off. What if she's a peer maiden? The boss will tear you limb from limb. Let's tie her up with the other one. Oh, is, is that so? No, no. No need to hurry. You'll see him soon. She was tugged along by the arm as they cut right in front of the bonfire. A skinned rabbit on a, on a spit was cooking over it. The charred mass beside it had probably been a rabbit too, once upon a time. The smell of blood and burning flesh made Sheena turn away. Just a taste gonna hurt, right? Right, little lady? A drunk man reached out and grabbed her calf as she tried to walk by. The sensation of his rough skin against hers sent a chill down her spine. Please stop. Let her go, unless you want the leader to kill you. Be a good boy and make do with the whores in the slums. Ah! This is so loud! Oh my god. Yeah, ah. give me a break. What if I catch something? I think dying from disease will be preferable to getting tortured to death by the leader. Tch, fine. Ah! Uh. She felt slightly relieved when he finally let go of her leg. Of course, she couldn't be completely relaxed in her current situation. All she could do was keep walking forward as the hand on her arm dragged her along. The rabbit meat cooking on the fire crackled and popped ominously. Um... <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, oh, this is the kitchen. Just as Kitty was about to step into the kitchen, a sold 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 stopped him. He told Kitty that several reports had arrived before handing him a sack of memos. A sack? Stack? That sure didn't take long. Kitty took the papers with one hand and dismissed his subordinate with the other. He leaned against the wall and glanced over the pages. My my, how selfish. He put the pages in his pocket and then pulled and then pulled a wine glass from the cabinet and poured himself some water. Water and wine glass. <laughs> he wrapped Fancy. the glass in a silk handkerchief to avoid getting his gloves wet. Karamia, about the situation. Uh, is he sleeping? Yes. Nothing answered him, but the, s oh. but the sound of slow, steady breathing. When he walked over to the sofa, he found Katamiya sleeping soundly. How dare he... Kitty sat down on one of the sofa's armrests, taking a sip of water from his glass. It's like they want to sit everywhere but the sofa. Then he slowly tilted the glass over, just above the sleeping... Oh! Katamiya's head. Good morning. If you keep falling asleep right after you eat, you'll soon become a rather round lion. <laughs> Ro rotund lion. Why you? Can't you have woken me up a little more gently? 
the only reason I didn't use tomato juice or milk is because I wanted you to think I was being conscientious. <laughs> what? <laughs> Kitty! Yo, this guy's a menace! Kitty tossed the handkerchief he'd wrapped around the glass at Katamiya. The Don used it to wipe his face off before glaring back at him. And that's like your master! Things appear to be moving as we anticipated. I see. How's it look? Can't say for sure yet. I'm sure I'll be able to figure something out with my capabilities. I don't know what I'd do without you, Kim. I don't either. Of course, I don't intend to kill myself over such matters. Oh my god, this guy... He's like, I don't know what I'd do without you, and he goes, I don't know either. He's like, I wouldn't either. He's like, <laughs> be a good girl. Making a fuss ain't gonna do you any good. Hi! Oh. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, what's up, For a second, so I thought he was doing? looking up at us like that, but no, I think I see her head right there in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you here? I wanted to say it was that I saw, but then they caught me. What do you mean they caught you? You <laughs> only <laughs> walked. <laughs> she surrendered. Oh my god. What do you think I was buying time for? It was so you could get back to the mansion safely. I know that, but stupid protagonist. Oh my god! Am I right? <laughs> yeah. But Mr. Kadavia and Mr. Kitty said they weren't going to help you. They weren't in the wrong. That was the natural decision. Please don't say that. Aren't you all close friends? It's my fault this happened to you. I just couldn't stand by and do nothing. So I came to talk to Mr. Susan. I was going to ask him to take me and let you go. Did you really think you could just negotiate with these people? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, have you seen how naive she is? Yeah, right. She, she literally saw, like, met a bunch of strangers and was just like, I am okay with living with these people. <laughs> <laughs> well. You're an idiot. Yes, yeah, she is. Yeah. <laughs> Can you not imagine what the hell they might put you through? I, I know everything's going to be okay. I was alone in the beginning, anyway. The Amelia Oz has done so much for me. I just wanted to bring you home, Mr. Axel. Guest. Hmm. I do not approve. Huh? I protect the Familia with all my body and soul. Those are the rules. Not only are you a guest, but the Dawn instructed me to treat you as a member of the Familia. You are not alone. I can't say your actions were even remotely worthwhile, but I do appreciate the sentiment. Mr. Axel. Hmm? It sounds like something's happening. Greetings! That Imagine... campfire actually looks nice. Imagine everywhere he walks in, this so this music plays. <laughs> and maybe amazing. that's what he meant. He's like, sounds like something's happening. This music <laughs> plays and he's like, hi! <laughs> yeah, hello! <laughs> Shit! Good yours is... Oh no, it's the day of... Oh no, it's the day of rest. So you better put those weapons down. I hear one of my subordinates and my dear guests are joining you by the fire. For both our sakes, why don't you just hand them over without making a fuss? It ain't up for discussion. Like the wolf gang is soft enough to give up its prey. I see. Well, I guess you leave me no choice. It's too late to change your minds now. Brace yourselves, little puppies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I oh love my that god. Song. And then more music. Familiar Grim here. 
I don't remember how to freaking pronounce this, but Millie Anderson is here. Familiar bits here. Familiar <laughs> Adele Ad here in person as well. Familiar Oz, assume your positions. Surely even denizens of the slums are aware of the Sunday compromise. And you know, it's not just some flimsy verbal promise. It's something that, when violated, brings some very severe consequences. The compromise doesn't exclusively apply to maf mafiosi. <laughs> All violence in town is prohibited. And will not survive violations of the law. I shouldn't care as long as I get to use my new gunpowder. <laughs> oh my gosh, why are these people so <laughs> obsessed with explosives? Gunpowder formula. We're in the middle of the forest. Please be careful. Oh my god, they're gonna start a wildfire. <laughs> <laughs> why have you called me out here in the middle of the night? Peter, hurry up and clean! Get this mess cleaned up! Oh, wow. Oh, new person. Mm. Huh. It is precisely midnight. The day of rest seems to have come to an end. Alright, in the name of the compromise, eliminate these lawbreakers. Whoa. God I like that music okay. that played. Same. It, it was That's like really making cool. him seem so badass. Um. Ribbit. Ribbit. I hear yes. people screaming. <laughs> Please untie them. Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> I hear people screaming in the background. Same. Weren't you? Familiar. Familiar? And this is Consilia. What if you sounded Familiar. like you're on helium? Familiar in the same conciliar, Remius, and this is Eric Intelligence Operative, Remio. Is that how you know this? The frog! Um... <laughs> the frog is Romeo, okay. Remit, remit. If you're here, does that mean those gunshots were part of the cleanup? Indeed. You said we're not the only offender. A thunder? What do you mean? Uh. Either way, things seem to have quieted down. Yeah, let's go guess. Oh, it's because he he fired gunshots oh. on Sunday. Uh oh. Axel picked up his jacket. Picked his jacket up off of the ground and put it over Sheena. <gasps> Mr. Axel? You don't want to... You don't want to see the corpses, do you? Ew. Aww. Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> Axel put his hand on her back and started guiding her across the clearing. Even with her vision obstructed, she still felt the discomfort. The smell of si singed flesh, a rusty metallic smell. The footsteps were clearly more numerous than she expected from the number of men she'd seen. She could hear the sound of tearing flesh and breaking bones. Oh, God. Pained groans, anguish wails. Jesus. On the other side of the cloth was a world grayer and dimmer than she could have ever imagined from inside the town. That was descriptive. Back, Axel. Sheena. <laughs> that was a descriptive <laughs> thing. Mr. Karamiya, Mr. Kiri. You are extremely foolish for sneaking off into enemy territory without so much as a word. I'm sorry. Familiar boots, no casualties. We're withdrawing. Looks like Familia Anderson's already gone home. We'll head back to town too. Good. Thanks for coming. We're just abiding by the compromises. Good evening. Peter killed like two or three people, but they were all those dogs underlings. That's not a problem, right? 
Indeed, the Undertaker will handle it from here. Oh, what a relief. No, oh, really, I'm the one who saved you, so don't act like you're the one doing me a favor. We're leaving, Peter! I guess she doesn't talk to Peter. Well, I guess all that's left is us. Axel, you understand what you've done, don't you? Uh. Axel nodded and then got down on his knees, his back still straight as an arrow. Uh-oh. Mr. Axel? He showed no reaction to Sheena calling his name and instead just looked back at Kitty. Show some respect. Holy sh... Wasn't Jesus expecting that. Me. Kitty knocked Axel's shoulder hard, knocking him down to the ground. Karamiya pulled the pistol from the holster at his hip and pointed it at his... At Axel's chest. Mr. Kitty? Oh my lord. Stay on this, Signorina. But, but... The moonlight streaming through the trees shone on Kitty's back. Drawing his own pistol, he narrowed his ice blue eyes and took aim at Axel's brow. Axel, explain why you're being disposed of. I violated the compromise and used a weapon. Very good. Now accept your sentence. Uh, uh, uh. What? What are you already? Warm sunlight streamed in through the windows. Outside, she could hear birds chirping. It was almost as if the previous night had just been a dream. Huh? Mr. Axel! What's wrong? No, it's even a good morning. Uh, uh. You called? Uh, Mr. Axel! Sheena patted <laughs> Axel down. He, he's not a ghost. He's alive! I'm so glad you're okay, Mr. Axel. But what are you doing? Let me go, please. Oh, what's wrong? Why did you two get so close and touchy feely? <laughs> oh my god. Sh she's the one who hugged me. I have nothing to do with this. Now please, let me go. S sorry <sighs> My mind just went blank after Mr. Kitty shot, shot Mr. Axel. I didn't shoot him. How many times do I have to say it for you to understand? Mr. Kitty! I didn't shoot Axel. I shot the ground. Do I really seem so ca <laughs> callous I that I'd just kill a friend like that? Yes? I think you do. <laughs> <laughs> you do. It'd be weird if he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he like cut me up. I agree. Oh my god. Eat a kitty. It almost sounds like praise in a three-part harmony like that. Dude, it wasn't praise! Shit, <laughs> Mr. Axel, then why? Take a look at this. Kitty interrupted Sheena, pulling a scrap of paper from his pocket and handing it to her. Familiar Grimm cleaning the main street from Leah Anderson. Buying eleven dozen matches. Eh? Eh? Their punishments from each familia for Axel's violation of the compromise. By all rights, we should have had some of our territory seed. Seized? Seized? Or si Seized. Seized, but I did what I could to reduce the sentence to this level. Considering how much trouble I had to go through, it's only natural that I'd want to shoot the source of it all. Kitty! So he really did want to shoot him. <laughs> oh my god, Kitty! <laughs> I 
Axel, don't worry about patrolling today. When you're done eating, take some soldati with you to the Grim Mansion and ask them for cleaning instructions. Understood. Alone? Uh, 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 uh. Also, no sweets for a week. Uh, is that part of my punishment for violating the compromise as well? Of course not. This is your punishment for making us worry. Understood. <laughs> no sweets! <laughs> He's got a sweet tooth, that's so cute! Oh my god, that's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Axel. Hmm? I hope you have a cleaning. No need. This is my punishment. Really, I don't even need the sol soldati's help. They're so hard what? words. I said I don't need your help. You have ears, don't you? I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Also, um, you don't have to be so polite with me. Huh? Like Hansel said, you know, about using Mr. and stuff. Yo! Yeah. <laughs> We're dropping the honor of yes. <laughs> I'm not like Mr. Karamiya and Kiri. I'm just a thing. I'm not in a position that demands respect. What? I'm serious. Please don't use it with me. I'd like to call you by your name as well. That'll make us even, right? Oh, <laughs> oh my okay, god! That works. Precious boy! Precious boy! She took his outstretched oh, hand. So, I can call you Axel then? Sh sure. You can call me whatever you like, Sheena. <laughs> oh my god, is he blushing? <laughs> He's blushing! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh my god, that's adorable! Fuck. And you know like how it. he has the glasses and the hair sort of more messy like that? Uh-huh. Kind of reminds me of Shiki. Yes. <laughs> and <laughs> how he's not that much of a talker. Oh my god! Oh my god, <laughs> oh my god yes! <laughs> oh, oh that's, that's so cute! So <laughs> okay, thanks! It's a little embarrassing to hear Axel call me by my name. <laughs> it's so cute! Okay, I don't think I can. My stomach can take any more of this habit. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just like in the doorway. <laughs> what a coincidence! Mine too. Well, it's not too late. Should I shoot him? Say three times in the abdomen and then take him to the clinic. Oh my God! <laughs> These two. <laughs> Sir, a kitty! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Dr. Mercury is here! He said six months later and you two are finally playing Otome games together! Yes! Wait, six months? It feels like longer! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Doc! Hi! <laughs> when did you two? I've been here since you said, please go out with me! <laughs> oh no, I think it was from You are my sunshine, I love you <laughs> <laughs> These two, like so These two. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, I said no such things uh, Excuse me <laughs> I saw a little about breakfast I'll eat outside <laughs> Kai. Oh, Kai. Uh, they sure want her move it quickly, Signorina. Surely you could just attribute it to her womanly wiles. Why don't you try to seduce me next? <laughs> These two. This <laughs> is Chili. <laughs> Okay, why don't you have your meal with Mr. Katamiya here, so you don't have to associate with that baddie? <laughs> <laughs> How rude! I'm no bad egg, I'm a scarecrow! Oh, what? <laughs> so we got the lion, the scarecrow... And the tin man, Mr. I guess, Mr. Robot Axel. is the tin. 
Okay, as much as I would like to continue, I yeah, actually, actually I think that seems like a good place to end. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. wondering if there would be like a really good place to end, and that actually seems like such a good place to end too. Yeah, I think it your does. voice needs to rest. You've been doing a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. That was so much fun. It was. I didn't expect their so banter fun. to be so <laughs> so much fun. This was uh -huh. great. Oh my god, this this whole Otome is just yeah! great in general. Holy shit. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for streaming it. I'm so Thank excited to continue. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, well, I'll try to keep in touch to see yeah. when the next day mm -hmm. would work. Yeah. Mm. Thank you so much. <laughs> it was so much fun. Yeah. Alright. Bye bye. Take care and have a bye. good night. Have a good one. Okay, now let me get ready here. Okay. So I'm just closing the game real quick. Okay. Now let me just... I'm gonna... That was a lot of fun! I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was... I enjoyed myself a lot. <laughs> that was so much fun, I can't wait to continue. Hope you guys liked. I think I just said all of that again. Oh well, I, I tend to repeat myself, it's fine. <laughs> it was so fun. I'm happy. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take a look at some of the options real quick. And I will be ending on my end. We have gone three hours and that, that was really good and that was so cute. <laughs> uh, I, want, I definitely would want to continue with all the kinds, of, it's great. It was so much fun. Okay, maybe... Oh, I'm kind of interested in doing this one. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Okay. <sighs> that was so much fun. It's been a while since I've done like that, you know? acting was so much fun. I had fun. Okay. I'm gonna... It was fun! Aw, thank you! I had a lot of fun doing that. I haven't really been voice acting out loud for a while, so it's really great. I had a lot of fun. Oh, I wanna... I think I wanna do here. Would you... Wait, should we go to like another... Another sort of story game or something a little more relaxing and like hands on kind? Because there's two people I'm debating on.
What do you guys think? What do you think? That was so much fun. I'm happy. I'm very all happy. I'm very much smiles right now. Okay. Let's see. What do you guys think? And also, here's Luna again. She's awesome. I love talking to her about Otome games. Do you have anything you guys are feeling? If not, I'll probably... I'll probably go... I might go for... For that one, maybe? What do you... If no preference? Okay. Okay, here. And... Hopefully... The... And hopefully, uh... My problem with Twitter gets sorted out soon, so I can get my Twitter... Back. But here you go. The raid messages. Please copy the first one if you are not sub to the channel, and the second one if you are. It was a lot of fun. See you guys again the next time. It was really great. Okay, let's go. Thank you.